Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Somerville Sports Reserve for the big clash this afternoon between Somerville and Mornington. Somerville two and three thus far into round five. Uh, Mornington four and one. Calling all the action this afternoon, a man who probably could get a part in Peaky Blinders with that <laughs> cap that he's got on, and um, also a man that uh, actually I believe has switched to hot dogs from. <laughs> Uh, bacon and egg rolls. So it's well, good I didn't afternoon. Know they had them. So <laughs> it's good afternoon to Michael Voss and Adam Short Pass Kelly. Good Craig. Oh, um, good day, Short Pass. This is a this is a test for Mornington because at the start of the year, Mornington got Mornington higher on the ladder right now. But at the start of the year, you'd say some of them would have the better year. Yeah. Some of them haven't had haven't had the best of starts. Just the, I think the two the two wins so far. They will. Um, they, they, they need to they need to get a win on the board just to get their confidence back. They've got it. They've got a few back today. So we'll see how the game goes and. We're just about ready to start for this match of the day this afternoon. And we'll just stand up and join and join the throw. And here we go. Up in the ruck there was big Tom Roberts there for Somerville. He got the ball down. Somerville trying to knock the ball, well, backwards to go forward. Picked up. And a quick kick there by Speedy for Mornington. It was smothered off the boot. He'll get it back here, Speedy. He gets it over the top. Here's an opportunity for Mornington to go forward through the agency of Bold towards full forward, off the pack. They've got the opportunity in Mornington. They've got the, well, they had the loose man, and then the, there was a fumble created down there. What's the umpire giving? The umpire's given a free kick. And... One of SUA's finest, Vossi. You wouldn't want to argue with him. He's Genty. Brett Gent. Good man, Genty. Yep, very good man. Just talking to him out in the middle of the field, Vossi. Uh, SUA is still struggling for umpires, so if you're thinking oh. about it, very much worth uh, a phone call, that's for sure. Their umpire, this umpire association wouldn't be alone, I'm telling you. It's, uh, it's very, very hard at the moment, considering numbers are very low right across the board, just about. Lockie Susovic with her, his first kick, his needs to get early. Kick towards full forward. Ball on the ground. Some of all the opportunity to clear through the agency there in McKenzie, but he lost control. The ball is well, over the line for a boundary throne. We'll keep you updated with scores right throughout the afternoon. Thanks to Solar Heart. Solar Heart, thank you, Michael Voss. We are here thanks to TV Magic. Just talking to, um, to Brad Canavan, Somerville coach earlier, as the ball's brought to ground. Quick kick out of... Defensive 50. Mornington have set up the wall. They've got the ball here through the agency of Richardson, who's got it at half forward. Some of them haven't been able to get it past the centre of the ground in the first two minutes of play. They've got a mark here, Mornington, and there they go back inside, and the mark will be taken by Speedy. He'll kick from about 40 metres out directly in front. Might be, oh, yeah, might be, might be a touch further. But an opportunity to get the first goal of the game. We're two and a half minutes in the opening quarter. It's 0-0. Thanks to Ray White of Frankston as Speedy lines up. He goes back, just comes in. Does it goal. It fades to the other side and it is going to be put through for a point. So Mornington have the first score. One straight behind and some of all are yet to score. Played two and a half minutes on the Ray White Frankston scoreboard. There's a long kick coming out. I think that might be by by uh, Rowe, I think it was, who gets the ball out towards the centre of the ground. It was a massive kick. Mornington, again, had set up the wall, but they turned the ball over. Now some of all the opportunity to go forward. Yeah, it's a better. kick towards half forward has been marked by McDonnell. Their first time inside attacking 50. Going back, Marshall. Oh, oh he didn't get to that one, but it's a mark to some of all, nevertheless, inside attacking 50. Ryan Gillis, beautiful mark. He, uh, he's a player that needs his hands on it early, Vossi. If he can go back and slot this for the Somerville Football Club, I'm telling you, they'll be up and about. So both the Gillis boys playing today. How many times do you reckon he's kicked this goal, uh, this uh, practice kick in training? As he throws up a tough to grass, just he's all about the process. And uh, the two Haskett boys, who I know very well, Jake and Lockie, they're playing today as well in the seniors. So Gillis it is, Ryan does it, Dolly misses, pulls it to the near side, to, to his near side and through for behind. So four minutes played in the opening quarter, one behind each of two. This is the match of the day in Division 2, to make no doubt about that. YCW Dramana is the pick of the games in Division 1, will, as I said, we'll keep you updated right throughout the afternoon, thanks to Solar Heart. As Mornington bring the ball in through Smart, out towards half-back. Mark taken by Ash, 
He went to play on. I don't know why. Might have, he might have been called to play on. It might have been touched. Nevertheless, Mornington do get the ball back now. A short kick. Mark has taken there by the Lockie. son of Nipples in <laughs> Lockie Susovich. Playing a bit higher up the ground today's lock. So I don't, I don't mind that. And uh, did you say on the footy show this morning, Brett Deledio is playing today? Yeah. So this is his second game, OK? Spot on. So not much to happen after this. So... Uh, all ears would be on Devon to see if they can get him for a few more games. That is a great lead. Out, just kick a little bit off for Mornington. Ball to go out of bounds, Barnes far side. Player, who led that out there on that occasion? So, uh, Vossi, as I was saying, talking to Brad before the, uh, the before the game, Wybrow comes back in for some of all Sedgwick, Paul Fermanis, uh, uh one of the Mason. No, it wasn't. Not one of the Mason. Uh, Nagel. Uh, huge, huge outs last week, so a welcomed, welcome list this week. Quick snap towards the top of the goal square, no mark taken, some of them should clear, and they do through the agency, I think that's Rowe again, who goes out towards the half-back line, the mark's taken by big Tom Roberts, who goes towards the centre of the ground, goes for, and not quite finding Good a tackle. there on that occasion. Mornington uh, competing hard early, but some of them get the ball towards half-forward, knocking the ball over there was Gillis, now kicking the ball off the ground there was Kane for Mornington towards the centre of the ground. It's picked up there by Dinger, who was BOG a couple of weeks ago in the game. We voted him BOG anyhow. Thought he was very, very good as the ball was punched out of bounds on far wing. And he wasn't even listed in Mornington's best players. But he was very, very good that day. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Sometimes we see things a little bit differently. And that's OK. It's fine. All opinions count. That's, well, our opinions. So, boundary throwing to take place. Roberts gets the ball down for Somerville. Now a hand pass and they can go forward towards centre-half forward. But Smart will take the mark and he can get it and go. Oh, I don't know why he did that because he just... Got he the handball. He got himself into trouble there and he shouldn't have played on. He just could have gone back, maybe switched it across this side and maybe set up play for Mornington as it is. Ball about 60 metres out from the Mornington goal, uh, from the Somerville goal. We know Mornington like to uh, to get on the afterburners and go after their possession, Bossy, but Somerville play a similar brand of football, so they've got to be careful with that. Quick kick forward for Mornington by Goosey of the Will variety. Goes to half forward, but the mark's been taken by Mason. Switches on here, Vossi. A lot of Somerville over the grandstand side of the ground. And I'm not, oh, well, Rowan and Mason have got a very similar hairstyles, but one's taller than the other. That's what we've got to keep, keep an eye on this afternoon. Ball on the ground. The chance there for Martin for Somerville. Zach the Martin there. Beautiful out, second quick, effort, Bossy. A quick kick goes towards half forward, but it's out in the full right in front of where we're broadcasting here this afternoon. And uh, Craig, I'll be keeping a, an eye on the inside 50s and I'll be keeping an eye on some around the ground scores this afternoon. And uh, we'll be getting, we should be getting some of those very soon. Ball is with Kane, who's got it at right half back for Mornington. We're still without a goal and we've played seven minutes in the opening quarter. It's one point each or two. Ray White, Frankston scoreboard as the ball is picked up here for Somerville. They go with a defensive hand pass. Looking there for Wybrow. And he couldn't get the ball. It was too heavy for him, the hand pass. So the ball is over the line for a boundary throw in. And I've got to say, I don't know what size this TV screen is. It is a magnificent, oh, magnificent TV screen. It is a, a beautiful addition uh, to the team, Vossies, our big screen. And that's uh, thanks to Progress Signs, of course, doing all the, uh, the replays. It's uh, actually supplied by Chic TV, Vossi, so a fantastic sponsor. It's a beautiful TV. It is a beautiful TV. So uh, we get all the live action and replays. Thanks, Sus. Eight minutes in the opening quarter, still one point each of two. Both sides just not been able to find that final sort of link inside attacking 50 at the moment. Ball is inside attacking 50. Calder tried to get it but missed it. It's picked up there by Rowe. He gets it out towards his teammate there in Nagel who's got it. So Paddy Nagel goes in short. He's got a teammate in short and that's McKenzie who's got it at right half back. He'll bring the ball down the, the, the uh, broadcast side. Gets it over towards Rowe, who goes uh, towards attacking 50. Now, a chance here for Summerville. They've just got to try and get that ball forward. That might be a free kick. Williams was held without the ball there right in front of us. I reckon that was a free kick, and the Summerville crowd sort of asking the question why that wasn't. Probably got a good case too. It's picked up there for Mornington by Gorka. It goes towards the centre of the ground. The mark has been taken. It's been taken by the man who didn't play a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, boy, oh boy, he's got a rude haircut. Warwick Miller. Yeah, welcomed... Uh Welcomed addition to uh, to the Mornington football side today, Bossy. 
Absolutely. Mornington with the opportunity to go five and one today, and some of will get, get back level on the season. So, ball thrown back into play. Knocked down by Miller for Mornington. Some of will clear, and they do with a short kick towards the wing. Just got to apply a shepherd, and they're through here. At, uh, Mornington player managed to get through there and put some pressure on. Now sweeping hand pass over the top. They've got the loose man created. They can go over the top, and they can go inside attacking 50 with a big kick here. They go towards oh, Fermanis. the forward pocket. It was dropped there by Fermanis, who picks it up. He goes at goal. Oh. It's the first goal of the game. And he dropped the mark, and he's telling the boys, I planned that. I absolutely planned that. I dropped the ball, but I managed to kick a very good goal tuck right up next to the boundary line. Great goal by Paul Fermanis. And some of will have the first goal. 1-1-7, Mornington 1 behind. You're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula football. And welcome back to the Somerville Sports Reserve. Just some uh, quick scores for you boys. Uh, no score at Lang Warren yet between Lang Warren and Chelsea. Devon Meadows, three straight, 18. Hastings, one behind. Uh, Seaford, three, one, 19. Rye, yet to score. Uh, Karingal, one goal, one, seven. Crip point, no score. And of course, uh, just got a goal here. So one, one, seven to Somerville and uh, one behind to Morno. A high kick towards full forward. Mornington need to defend. They will defend and the ball would look like it was going to bounce away, but it's been rushed through there by Richardson through for a point. So Mornington stay at one behind. Some of them have up to one goal, two, eight. We're 11 minutes in the opening quarter. Ray White, Frankston scoreboard as Mornington looking to bring the ball back into play. Richardson goes out the scoreboard side of the ground. Goes long. Good mark taken at the back there by Miller. I reckon he was probably third in line there as the kick goes down towards pace, centre wing. Pace to be tall, Vossi. Yeah, it Ryan does. Miller there with a fair bit of height. Welcomed inclusion back into the Mornington side. If you didn't want Ryan Gillis kicking their first goal, you'd want Paul Fermanis kicking it. What a beautiful goal that was. Got away from Lockie Susevich. Uh, wheeled around on the right. About 40, 40 out. Beautiful goal there. He straightened some of all up so much. Because Paul Fermanis, he's a very, very good player. As the kick goes towards the centre half forward for Mornington, ball picked up there out towards the pocket. In actual fact, it's taken for Somerville and they will clear out towards the wing area. It's taken by Zach Martin, who's got it. He goes for the kick towards the centre of the ground. Oh, going should back, have marked that. Should have marked that indeed. Was House. He didn't. He didn't get uh, told that he was clear. He had five on his nearest opponent. They might pay with a goal here if they're not careful. Fermanis tries to get through. He goes to his knees. The umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. Umpire Gent. Some of up by seven points with 12 minutes in the opening quarter. We'll get some Division 1 scores off you shortly there, Craig. Thanks to Solahart. So Miller with the ball gets the hand pass. And Mornington will clear with a hand pass through Dalziel. He goes. Now the kick goes in short. It's taken by Richardson, who plays on and goes down the line. Goes towards the centre wing. It's knocked away there by Mantel, and the ball goes over for a boundary throw. And you got some Division 1 scores? Yeah, just some early scores for you, Vossi. Uh, Franks the Bombers, three straight behinds, three. Rosebud yet to score. No score yet through from Sorrento and Bond Beach. Uh, Dramana, three behinds. Frankston yet to score. Frankston and YCW. Um, Matt Eliza, 3 1 19. Either Aspidale, two behinds. And no score through so far from Red Hill or Pines. Some of them will go forward inside, attacking 50 once again. I think the, the intended target might have been Gillis, but it dropped well short of that. Marshall goes at the ball. He's out near the 50. And players still diving in. The umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. Mornington doing all the, attack, uh, the attacking at the uh, at the moment, Vossi. Would have hurt that uh, that first goal by Fermanis because they've had far more inside entries as Mornington. Uh, good defensive football by uh, some of them at this early stage of the game. Here's an opportunity. Dinger's got it. Half back goes towards the centre of the ground. Pushes up towards centre half forward with the kick. The Mornington player in Brown goes back and the umpire says I'm going to How's the leg speed of Sutton there for Somerville? Just blazed away. Able to create the stoppage. Ball at centre half forward here for Mornington. As the rucks go up, Big North was the man who got the ball down for Mornington as the kick goes off the ground towards the pocket. Jackson Calder. Can he keep it in play? No, he can't. 
ball goes over for a boundary throw in. Jackson Tolder hasn't, well, he's had one touch, got a hand pass earlier. So. Now, big Tommy Roberts, is it? T it's Tom Roberts, Tom isn't Roberts, it? yeah. He's a big unit, isn't he? He's Somerville a, Ruckman. He's a massive unit. Where did he, well, he was at Seaford, wasn't he, for a while? No, he, no, he was at Somerville two years ago. Somerville, okay. He was, he was at Somerville, he was ruck. He was ruck there, so. It's looking like, they're looking like getting a few players back, and they've got a couple back. They're looking like, well, not totally similar, but look a little bit more similar to what they were two years ago when they made yep. the final. Yep, agree. Ball up. Mornington inside attacking 50. They get the sweeping hand pass backwards. Now they go with a kick towards full forward. Calder going up. He might have interfered. The umpire said no. Ball comes to ground. A quick snap at goal is going to be knocked through for a behind. It was kicked there by Barnes. So Mornington up to two behind. Some of a one, two, eight. We've played 15 minutes in the opening quarter. We're live here thanks to TV Magic. And, of course, that beautiful, beautiful meat tray is here. <laughs> that is. I, I, I had it in the car. I'm lucky, I didn't, I'm lucky I didn't stop somewhere and cook it up. <laughs> it There's some fantastic barbecue facilities along the way from Mornington to Somerville. It's a very, very wanted prize at uh, the end of the game this afternoon. No doubt about that. Mornington with the hand pass. Harrington it was, but he only goes as far as Samanis, who has a shot. He goes, Dull hits the post. Sedgwick applying a fantastic shepherd there. Just gave uh, Paul Fermanis a little opportunity there, but just he, he rushed that kick. He didn't have to, going through for a minor. Mornington quick to play on. Long defensive kick out of there. 50 defence. Short handball. Mark, I should say. Through the centre of the ground. Mornington go. Finding Knox. Knox just weighing up his options. Half forward. Short kick. Finding North. Well smothered there by Somerville. Somerville need to turn it on here now. Couple of plays. Oh, luck's a fortune there. That is. Quick kick out of that contest. And something from nothing, Michael. It's happening each and every week. Some of all there kicking their second. Beautiful play in the centre of the ground. Was that Williams? Yeah. No, Moroni. Hairstyle, number two, just walking there, right. Michael, I think it was. I'm sure we'll have a replay. No replay yet coming up. Thanks to Schick TV. Schick TV. Of course, providing us with the replays today. Fantastic effort there by Somerville. Mornington did all the attacking the first few minutes. Now Somerville have got a 13-point lead, and they're looking looking good at the moment as they try and get the ball out here. Mornington, a hand pass towards half forward now. It's picked up and a kick towards Calder. Much who's got better. it. Much better there. So Jackson Calder's got it out near the boundary line. He's a very, very, he's fast off the, uh, fast out of the gates, he's called us. So you just want to block that hole. You don't need to give him any space to run into because he's going to beat you in leg speed. And with that that gangly reach, Vossi, he's going to outmark you every day. His reach is about six foot, I reckon. So this is the Mornington's first goal. Jackson Calder, he'll come in and he'll cross 50 now. He'll kick from 40. He has the shot. And he misses. Across the face. Mornington trying to call the mark there. But through for a minor, as you said. Some of all quick out of the gates. They like coming along this, this boundary line, which is on the, uh, obviously, the grandstand side. Vossi Mark, nice taken. True wing position again. That's Moroni. Moroni wants to switch play in the middle. Cut off there by Mornington. They're on here, Morno. Handball wide, about 50 metres out. Swing, snap, looking for North. Good defensive pressure there by Somerville. Ball goes out of bounds to be thrown back in. So 2-3-15, Somerville, Mornington, three behinds. We've played 18 minutes in the first quarter, thanks to Ray White of Frankston and, of course, the TV Magic course, the, the sponsor of the match of the day. And uh, we'll um, hopefully a have a, a pretty... Eventful contest right there at the afternoon. Mornington still looking for their first goal. Can they get one here? They pick the ball up. They go backwards with the hand pass, but it's picked up there for some of a high kick. And that will almost be marked there on that occasion by Goosey. He gets the ball back towards his teammate there in Ryan Rose, who fumbled. Now the ball comes towards Somerville and they can clear the ball out. 
They go with a long kick out towards Fermanis. Boy, oh boy, he's looking good. He's looking very good, Michael. Lockie just giving him a little bit of room there and brought a beautiful lead out from the goal square is uh, that man in Sedgwick. Geez, they rely on him, don't they? His ability to go down back, go down forward as he's going to line up for his first today. Thanks to Solar Hart. Frankston YCW a 3 24 Dramana a three behinds. Sedgwick on a nice angle. Kicks, let loose, bang! Somerville's third, and that man there's first. Welcome back to the side, Mr. Sedgwick, after missing last week, Vossi. Paul Fermanis went a couple of years ago for memory. Towards the end of the year, his body started to let him down a little it bit. He was, he was playing, but his body, he was playing hurt. Yep. He was more playing sore. Um, but he is looking so good. He's getting up the ground. He's getting down the ground. He's just he's looking really, really strong at the moment. When you're Sedgwick and you're coming out like a freight train out of the forward out of the forward square there, Vossi, and you got Paul Fermanis kicking it lace out, hitting you on the tick, you, you you're pretty you're pretty good to get the mark. And Sedgwick, of course, more known as a, a defender, but he's playing forward today. I like that. Obviously, we know Mornington's defence, very tall, very good. But today, better suited Sedgwick is up in the forward line. I like that by, by Brad Canavan. Ball picked up there by Heath for Mornington. Got the hand pass over, but they good lose tackle. control. In fact, that's going to be a holding the ball decision. A free kick to Somerville in the centre of the ground. It'll go there to Burton. They can play on. They go inside, attacking 50, going out. Gillis oh. takes the mark. He just charged at that ball. He wanted that ball, and he got it. Gillis sets it up towards Sedgwick, and Fermanis, Fermanis again. It is the Paul for Manus and Ryan Gillis show at the moment with Sedgwick already. Just beautiful, beautiful mark there. Great kick by Ryan Gillis. Finding, finding Paul for Manus. Sorry, he's going to kick from about 30 out on a very tight angle, almost boundary-like. This to make the margin four goals as a shot he misses. To I the did, near side. Uh, I'm not ducking away from the fact that I did tip Mornington on the radio this you morning. You did, you but, did, very but, good. But if you go back to the start of the year, we expected some of have a better year than Mornington. I think, um, um, I think, Sass, Pete, you tipped Somerville, I think, didn't you? No, you tipped Mornington. I was the only one going for Somerville. Both Mornington boys, obviously. You can't help Peter Sasevich when his son, Lockie Sasevich, plays for Mornington. The man, the man who's got to clean his room tomorrow morning. Oh, Sedgwick just missing that mark, falling at the feet. Uh, Great uh, attack applied. Ooh, that, that might have been holding the man, I thought. Maybe not. There's a kick towards the player in bold on centre wing. He's got it. He gets it over the top. He's got it towards his teammate there in Brown who goes up the line towards where Simon Goosey and the Mornington bench are standing. They've been, they've been outplayed in this first quarter at the moment. Some have all got a good lead to start things off and some will be hoping they can keep Mornington goalless before quarter time because that'll be a great start for them. They're looking for a bit of confidence and they just, um, they're looking more and more confident that as the quarter goes on, 3 4 22 to 3 behinds. There's oh. a 50 metre penalty. Here's an opportunity for Mornington to kick yeah, a goal. 50 metre penalty there uh, called just holding. I'm not sure what that was about, to be honest. Gorka is the player. Not sure what that was about, and uh, I think uh, Wig just agrees. Ryan Gillis absolutely filthy with that 50 metre penalty because it's going to put Mornington. On goal, directly in front, about 20 out. Easy kick for Gorka. As he strolls in and goes, bang, umpire doesn't move. That is one on the board. 3-4-22 plays 1-3-9. And that is on the Ray White of Frankston scoreboard. Off the hook there is Mornington with that 350, I reckon, Vossi. A dodgy, dodgy call for me. But we move on. Um, our man Wiggy is in an uncustom role. He's actually sitting on the bench or standing Hi. on the bench. He asked me to park the Hilux uh, up next to. Uh, he's just missing a Ute today, but I couldn't quite get in there, Vossi. It was, uh, yeah, I didn't want to put uh, put Rudy the Rogue in any any kind of danger. What did you name your car? Rudy. Rudy. Hey, Rudy. Oh wow. The Rogue. It's a Rogue. Okay. Totally over my head. That there's a kick towards Gillis, who's got it. Fifty out. For Mornington, uh, for Somerville, I should say, he goes in short. He's oh. looking there for Fermanis, who misses the mark, but the ball comes to the back, and there is an easy goal kicked by Zach Martin. So Somerville get the answering goal and go back to a 19-point lead, 4-4-28. Mornington 1-3-9. You're listening and watching R W P F M, the voice of Peninsula football.
Okay, welcome back to uh, the uh, TV Imagine match of the day, boys. Just before we uh, go uh, back to the live action, just a quick score update. Lang Warren, uh, 2 1 13, Chelsea 1 6, uh, Devon Meadows 5 1 31, Hastings 1 3 9, uh, Rye 3 1 19, Seaford 5 2 32, Rye have just kicked another goal 4 1 25, uh, Karingal 4 1 25, Crip Point 2 1 13, Somerville 4 4 28, uh, the morning to the course here 1 3 9. And uh, Pearsdale 3 2 20, uh, tie up 1 1 7. Mm. Heath there just copping one for Mornington in the guts was slow to get up, Mossy. There's a defensive hand pass trying to run under the ball but overrunning it there. That's now taken by Miller. Gets it over towards his teammate there in Knox. He goes with a quick kick towards Calder who goes, oh, that's almost a mark. I reckon he almost could claim that. Two purchases, Vossi. Need three. Oh, I reckon he was very close to that. Gary Ablett got paid all those years ago. There's a snap at goal by Calder. He's off target. And through for behind. 25 minutes in the opening quarter. Mornington 1 4 10. Somerville 4 4 28. We're live here at Jones Road. Big crowd in attendance. Big crowd. It's, it's, good lady, to see. it's Ladies' Day here today. It is. All the ladies are out in their droves looking a treat too, may I add. Long kick out of defence. Looking there for his teammate there in Williams, but the ball went to ground, and the umpire said, I'm going to ball it up. So, wing, 18 points is a margin. Wing side, pavilion side of the ground. Taken by Roberts, who gets a hand pass out and trying to charge through there and getting a free kick for high. too high is Burton. He plays on. He's got a teammate there in Nagel who goes up the wing and goes towards centre half forward and for Manus who was out of the contest here. It was uh, beaten by Susevich. Well done by the president's son of RWP, Lockie Susevich. He beats for Manus here and uh, for Ma it's no mean effort considering the way for Manus has started this no, game. Correct. There's a kick out towards oh. half back. Mark taken there for Mornington by Bold. They can look to go. Move it on, says the umpire. Oh. He tries to move it on. And good defence there. As uh, just a little bit of a scuffle, a little bit of a howdy do. Bold not happy with Marshall. And Marshall just laughing at him there yeah. as they had a wrestle right in front of us. You could have reached out and touched him yeah, short pass. Yeah, you could have. Uh, Bolt just uh, obviously getting too close to the man on the mark there and uh, getting the ball smothered. Boundary umpire throws the ball back into play. Trying to dive in there as, as well as Marshall, but the ball comes out. Mornington almost a free kick there. They did get the hand pass out, but the crowd asked for the umpire for the free kick, but wasn't given. 27 minutes in the opening quarter. We shouldn't have too much longer to go in this first quarter. There is a lot of passion in this game at the moment, Bossy. I was asked before the game, and I'll get more about that maybe quarter time. Oh, There's fend off by Birdo. Goes to Paul Fermanis. Paul Fermanis not quite able to mark the ball. It's going to be cleared here in the agency of Smart. Smart long down the line, opposite side of the ground. True wing position. Ball seen over I was by asked, Somerville. I was asked before um, before the game how long since Mornington's played here. And I reckon Mornington might have played here late 80s, early 90s. Because I reckon Somerville were in Division 1 around then. Okay. But Mornington have never been in Division 2. So Somerville were in Division 2 for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. So, we probably, so I reckon it's probably more like around 30 years, but I'm sure if someone wow. can tell me that, I'm sure I, I would greatly appreciate it if they can tell me. There's a kick towards half forward, but it's marked there on this occasion by Tane McKenzie. He's got it. He switches play out towards the club room side and broadcast side. He goes towards half forward. That's a poor kick, though. It's taken there by Richardson. He went for McDonald, but McDonald was way, or not way behind, he was a couple of metres behind Richardson there. He goes in short. And ball was marked there by Will Goosey, who plays on and goes towards the forward pocket that's marked there by Calder. He's too far out to score, Jackson Calder. He goes towards full forward, and that is quarter time, as the ball was deep in Mornington's attacking area. But at quarter time in the match of the day, it is Somerville. 4 4 28, Mornington 1 4 10. We'll take a break, come back and talk to you about the first quarter and preview the second quarter and scores around the ground thanks to Solar Heart. And with thanks to TV Magic, you're listening and watching RWPFM, the voice of potential football.
More and more people with a taste for quality are shopping at Eliza Meats. Kevin and his lean team pride themselves on the finest cuts. From juicy steaks and roasts to high-grade mince and sausages, and Eliza Meats are the gourmet specialists. Inquire about Eliza Meats Spit Hire for 9787 4473 for a mouth-watering meal fit for a king. It's all at Eliza Meats. See our sponsor Kevin at Eliza Meats, 112B Mount Eliza Way, a station sponsor. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. We're back, Pete. With Bendigo Bank's new complete home loan, you'll be completely taken care of with a completely awesome rate. Complete offset on fixed and variable loans and a home loan specialist completely dedicated to you. So if you're not completely sure about the big four, search Bendigo Bank Complete Home Loan or head into Bendigo Bank, the better big bank. Lending criteria, terms, conditions, fees and charges apply. A station sponsor. And welcome back to uh, Somerville Sports Reserve, 4-4-28, Somerville, a morning to 1-4-10, uh, first quarter score. Uh, boys, uh, we've got uh, some scores through. Frankston Bombers, uh, uh, 16, and um, Rosebud, a 9. Just the sun's shining in my screen, so I can't give you the actual breakdown there. Uh, Bond Beach, we've got a score through from the Battle of the Sharks. Bond Beach, 4-3-27, Sorrento, 2-3-15. Uh, Frankston YCW 5131, Dramata 1410, uh, Mount Eliza 4731, uh, Edie Asp uh, three straight behinds, and a score through from Red Hill, a Red Hill two straight 12, uh, Pines 117. We'll get you the Divi two Don't scores in a moment. In the AFL, by the way, I can tell you that um, Giants are 19 points in front of Essendon and Gold Coast are eight points in front of St Tilda. I've got the Divi 2 uh, update uh, for you. Uh, Lane yep, Warren, 4327, Chelsea 117, uh, Devon Meadows 5131, Hastings 1310, uh, Rye 4125, Seaford still in front there, 5232, um, Karingal 4327, Crip Point 3220, um, and uh, Pearsdale 4327, uh, Tyab 117. You talk about uh, kids on shoulders. Have a look at the two dogs out there, both <laughs> in the yeah. su Somerville rugs yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, It's uh, one of those great things about sport in this country where you do see uh, a lot of support for the clubs and uh, <laughs> the dogs having a bit of a roll around as well. So uh, fantastic to see. Uh, and uh, thoughts on the game so far, gentlemen? Inside 50s, by the way, 7 to Somerville and uh, 5 to Mornington. Uh, but uh, certainly uh, Somerville, certainly red hot off the boot. Those uh, all the goals they've kicked... Uh, never look like missing. No, they're, they're absolutely on fire at the moment, the Somerville Football Club. And when you've got the likes of uh, Paul Fermanis... Uh, As I said, he straightens them up. He does, absolutely. There's no question about it. And then you've got Ryan Gillis, who I think has been fantastic on the run. He's been leading uh, leading up the ground. And he's, he's able to, to uh, obviously be that one kick out. And then well, you've he's got the likes of Sedgwick and, and Paul Fermanis are playing deep forward. He's the one coming out and, and getting to 50 and, and being that link-up player. Whereas in the past, and I know his time at Mornington and all, all that as a younger bloke, he was always he was always the full forward, but he's playing a bit of a different role. And I reckon uh, I reckon Brad Canavan's got him down all right at the moment. He's played he's played a good first quarter as uh, as Ryan Dillis. Yeah, look, he's been he's been fantastic early. Uh, I, I don't mind the change with Sedg Sedgwick at the moment. Uh, there's no doubt the boys are up and about. Uh, we've got John that's just about to walk back from the uh, from the huddle there. And uh, look, Mornington, they w they were very good. They were good defensively. Uh, they were they were good when they were attacking. Just uh, it's been it's been Somerville all the way through that first quarter, Bossy. And uh, geez, their backmen have been working hard. I'm going to be really keen to see, uh, you know, because obviously we're we're this side of this side of the ground, so we're going to see defensively how good Somerville actually are. Uh, and I think um, that uh, the big number. Uh, 22 there for Somerville uh, row uh, 
has uh, been fantastic on on uh, Jackson Calder as well. Yeah, Jackson Calder hasn't it? Oh, he's had one shot at goal, but hasn't really had an impact on the game so far. You don't need to get him into the game. North's been uh, been quiet too. John, you went to Somerville. What did uh, what did um, Wiggy have to say? Uh, we, we, well, Wiggy said. Uh, if you're on the board, just go to the second board. If you're on the board, you're good. If you're not on the board, you should be dirty. Uh, give the handball off. Move forward very quickly. Th th they are the better team on the board, uh, on the paper, but let's make them prove it and let's defend, defend, and then attack on the counter. That's a little breeze, but I wouldn't say there's anything substantial with the breeze. It might be yeah, probably a goal or so. It's not, it's not anything really substantial at the moment. But we're just about to start the second quarter. Mornington, who did a lot of the attacking early, but then Somerville got on the board and then uh, started to look really good through the likes of Fermanis and Sedgwick and Gillis up there in the forward line. I see just uh, to, to note, Mornington just coming out of their huddle now. So Goosey had them extra long, which is unlike him because normally he's pretty short and sweet. But I reckon he had plenty to say in that first time break. Yeah, I reckon, uh, I reckon he w would have said a fair bit there and Mornington have just got to get themselves going in this second quarter because if, if some of them start well in this second quarter and maybe extend that to five or six goals, then it could be a long day for Mornington. But some of them are a great start. They lead by 18 points as we start the second quarter here at Somerville. So the ball right. goes up, and Mornington with the opportunity there through Speedy. Now an underground hand pass. They go towards half forward. One, that might have been a free kick. No, at the umpires. Picked up by Miller. Defensive hand pass. They've got two players on the outside here. They go towards Dinger. He's been okay in the first quarter as well. Yeah, he has. He was one of Mornington's better players. Kick towards Miller. He's got it, Warwick Miller. Right in front of where the sum of litter change bench are. He's got a bit of a mistake happening too. Well, as, uh, I've, just, I've just noticed and uh, seen why North That's is. a good kick. That's a really good kick. And Jackson Calder takes it now. He centers it. That is really good play and really smart play. And that's poor defence there by Somerville because yeah. now the mark has been taken here for Mornington. It's been taken by Brown and they can go back and get the perfect start in this second quarter if he's successful with his kick. He's 45 out directly in front. Really should put this through. Look, st stating the obvious here, Vossi, but uh, this will settle Mornington's ship. They need this goal. It's what they would have asked for. It's what Goosey would have asked for. Well played, Mornington. Nathan Dillis here, he's got the uh, the Bailey Smith hairstyle as, as Brown has the shot, he hits the post. 1-5-11, plays 4-4-28. I've just seen why North is so good too, Vossi. Why's that? He's got red hair. Oh, it's in the your brother from another mother. It's the jeans, mate. It's the, it's the Ranger jeans. Long kick out of the fence for Somerville down the line. Chopped up by Mornington, well played. That man there running onto it is North. Met heavily in a contest, Somerville. Looking still to clear his heart. He's got to get rid of it, he does. Somerville under pressure here, looking to go inbound. Great mark, quick to play on. Is Zach Martin, chopped off by Mornington. It is in the hands of Somerville at the moment as he wheels around on his left. Through from nothing. Where did the red, where did the red hair come in your family? Uh, it's a Kelly thing, Irish. Okay. So the old man's rang up. Sorry. You're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I thought you wanted something there, Craig. Oh, sorry about that. Long kick out towards the d the broadcast side of the ground. It's picked up though for some of they go towards between centre half forward and full forward. Mornington should be able to clear. They get the ball off the pack. They go out towards the back pocket now. It's a now it's a 50-50 ball. Some of all just got to try and hold the ball in here. Fermanis is in there. He's waiting for the ball to come out, but uh, it's not going to come out to him. It, but instead it comes out Mornington's way and they can go down the line. And uh, I don't know why you kicked to a bloke who's 7 foot 28 in big Tom well, Roberts. it's gone over his head, Bossy, but Tom Roberts is on the run now. He still can move as his short kick finds north. He's got, Miller, he's got Miller down in the goal screw. He's got Calder down there. It's a two-on-two -two contest. He sets it up. Goes to Miller, who takes the mark. 35 out. 45-degree angle. Oh, Miller's just been robbed of that mark as well as the umpire. Genty's just called the ball back. Why? Because uh, North wasn't on his line. Oh, come on. 
How many times has that happened again? Yeah, look, it, sh it should have been called play on. Because it was a mark taken by North. North's going to go long as he sets. Oh, no, centres the ball. Looks for Calder, just over Calder's head, missing the mark. Some of all to clear. Through Mason. Nick, it was out towards the centre of the ground, but it's going to be picked up here for Mornington, and they can load up with a kick towards full forward, going back and taking the mark between the goal and the point. Case is McKenzie. He goes with a kick out towards the scoreboard side. The mark has been taken there for for Somerville by Travis Bravo. He goes out towards the half-back line, but it's taken here for Mornington. And they can go back into attack. They go towards the pocket, but it's not going to get to Miller. And instead, Bravo is going to get it again. And he will go in short with the kick. Danger, not danger the greatest, kick. Not the greatest of kicks, but it worked out all right because... The Mornington Wybrow. player came over the top, but unfortunately for them, they just hit straight back to where the Somerville player was. Kick towards the centre of the ground. Picked up here for Somerville. A quick kick by Sutton towards centre half forward. They've got to try and hold firm here, Mornington. They just they can't afford to concede this first goal in this quarter. They might, though. Sedgwick, a hand pass. But it was a not a good one. And now it's a kick out towards the centre wing. Mornington off to the races. They've got two players run with each other and just say go. Just say go because there was two Mornington players. He could have run another 15, 20 metres there, the Mornington player who kicked that ball. As it was, it was a poor kick to Calder and now some of them will clear. Out towards Bravo, who goes out towards defensive 50. Going up and not taking the mark there was Gorka. Ball on the ground. Chance here for Mornington once again. They will go in short and looking there and finding a teammate there in Speedy, who of course was Mornington, but also was, was Somerville as well for a period. Free kick being paid. Warwick Miller's got it. Warwick Miller does have it. This is Now, this is the pocket that's really tough to kick goals from here at Somerville, where the, in the left forward pocket. Now, the short pass and the mark's been taken by Goosey. So Warwick the Miller not liking his chances there. Son of a gun in Will oh. Goosey goes in short. And that's good play by Miller. He just chipped back and made sure he got the, got the secondary mark there and... Similar distance out, maybe a slightly better angle. Yeah, a little better angle, but they've, they've made up at least 15 metres there, Vossi. I, I like that. So can Warwick Miller put the goal on the board for Mornington just to get them going in the second quarter? He goes out on the right foot. He has the kick at goal. He misses to the near side. Every goal, every set shot from that uh, for that position there, Vossi, has seen... Uh, Seen a minor score just to the, the nearest side. Somerville 4 4 28, Mornington 1 6 12. Six minutes played in the second quarter. Ray White Frankston scoreboard as Rowe looking to bring the ball back in from full back. And he goes with a high kick to Zalik Rowe out towards the centre of the ground. No it's going to be there. marked there for Mornington. It's going to be marked by Gorka. He's got a teammate out here in house. He should go to him. Instead, he goes to North at centre half forward. The ball comes to the back. A hand pass by Miller. Now a short pass, and Mornington have got another shot here through the agency of Brown who hit the post about five minutes ago. So this to put their second goal on the board. We're still without a goal so far in this second quarter. A bit like the first quarter. It took a while to get going on the goal front. So what can Mornington do here with this kick? So Brown it is. Has the shot. And he misses. Bad kicking bad. is bad football. It is that position of the ground, Bossy. I think I went for a walk before the game and there is quite a breeze, but it shouldn't be affecting necessarily that side of the ground. Now, Interesting. Mason's got a teammate out here in uh, in Haskett. He won't go to Jake Haskett. Instead, he'll go down the, the scoreboard side. Kick towards half back. It's taken, though, for Mornington by Goosey. A quick kick around the corner towards half forward. North had to play the role of defender. Now it comes out, a chance here for Williams, who goes with the kick towards the centre of the ground. It's picked up there for Somerville, a, a hand pass over the top, but it's cut off there for Mornington. Picked up there on that occasion. I think that might have been by Rose, who, who got the ball out towards the centre wing. Ball still right in front of the Somerville club rooms. High. And a free kick for two high. Yeah, just unfortunate there. Ryan Gillis, wrong position, wrong time. Just right. went in to get the ball there, copying his player high. Ryan Rose is the man with the ball. Kick towards half forward. It was a poor kick. Finding McKenzie. McKenzie been good early. I'm really liking Ryan Gillis hasn't been able to kick a goal yet, but he's pushed up the ground, supplying his forwards. With he's the doing ball. the donkey. He's doing the donkey work, and yeah, that's and that's is. and that's 
You second need so you need someone to do that. Second and third effort, Vossi. He's been brilliant. Ball picked up by Mason, who goes towards the centre of the ground. Taken there by Roberts, who goes to the kick out towards the right wing. Nothing to kick to. He's I think that's to Nagel who's got it. Paddy Nagel it is. Now his old man's here watching because I, I waved to him at quarter time and I'm a very interested spectator this afternoon. There's an opportunity now for Mornington to clear down the line towards half forward. And McKenzie goes over the top and just sees the ball over for a boundary throw in. You got, any, got anything to add here, Craigo? Got any scores? Thanks to Solarheart. Somerville 4 4 28. We've played 10 minutes in the second quarter. Mornington 1 goal 7 13. Mornington doing most of the attack in the second quarter as they did in the first quarter, er, in the early part, anyhow. As the ball comes back into play, North gets it out towards Miller. He was tackled as he tried to get the kick away. So Somerville with the opportunity to go forward. It's picked up there by Haskett. Jake it was towards centre half forward. Mark taken there by Sedgwick. He's a long way out. He's 50, probably 55 out. He goes in short, oh. and he's got a teammate there, and I think that's Fermanis who comes yeah, out and takes that. That's not bad, is it, Bossy, when you get Sedgwick leading out, and then you get Paul Fermanis straight behind him. So They're looking rich in their forward line at the moment, as some of all. Well, you look at it, and um, if they can score a goal here, it takes away all Mornington's good work that they've done without scoring a goal, as Fermanis has the shot. It goes towards the right post, or the left post. It actually missed. So a point there to Paul Fermanis and some of up to 4.529, Mornington 1, 7, 13. We've played 11 minutes. Ray White, Frankston scoreboard as the kick goes out towards half-back. Not taking the mark there was Dinger. He had to apply the pressure. He did apply the pressure, and he got a free kick for yeah. holding the ball. So Mornington Absolutely. looking to... Get something on the board this second quarter. They've, what were they quarter time? One, three, one, three, one, four, one, three. One, four, so they've kicked three behinds this quarter. Mornington looking for the switch, didn't pay off. Intercepted by Somerville. Short kick finding Sedgwick. Sedgwick quick to play on, wheels around, looking for Ryan Gillis. Ball goes to ground. Ryan Gillis able to come something from nothing. Looks like he's going to be pinged. Not so. Mornington quick to clear. Wing position, balls punched over the line to be thrown in. Punched over by Lockie Haskett. So right in front of the pavilion here at Somerville, where the spectators are there. I won't say in their hundreds, but there, there's plenty. It's full up in that uh, that grandstand area at oh, Somerville, as, as you know what hundreds. I'm talking about. Definitely in the hundreds, Vossi. It's, def it's, yeah, it's definitely full. So umpire to call for a ball up. 12 minutes in the second quarter, still without a goal in this quarter. Some of up by 17, 16 points. So Mornington with the opportunity to go towards half forward. Brown was the player who let out, but he fell to ground too easily there on that occasion. Bravo kicked it straight into his Mornington opponent there. Now an opportunity for Miller. Goes in short. North's got it. Now they can go over the top. They go towards Calder. And I don't know why you wouldn't run in to have a shot at goal there because Luke Rowe was standing five metres in front of Jackson Calder. Kicked it to him as a chip kick. That is poor, poor use of the ball. And they probably deserved to have a goal scored against them here. That was really, really poor. Jackson Calder was never going to get to that contest. There's an opportunity for... Mornington to possibly clear. No, it's picked up there on this occasion by Marshall, who goes towards full forward. Going up, but oh. not taking the mark. Ball still on the ground. And running into the open goal. Gillis. Goal, goal, goal. Ryan, oh no, Genty running in to talk to the goal umpire there. I think he's seen something. Ryan Gillis is just saying that... Uh, 
I think I kicked that goal. No, it's given a point. It has been given a point. Somerville 4 6 30, Mornington 1 7 13. Ball to come back to Vossi. There's been 50 metre penalty paid, I think, uh, from a little bit of mouthing off, perhaps, which is undisciplined, especially from that great mate. That great man there in Paul Fermanis, if it was a, in fact against him, he's the man that stands on the mark. Mark taken by Speedy, they can go here, Mornington, they go towards Calder in the pocket. He takes the mark, Jackson Calder. He is 40 metres out from goal, he is in the left forward pocket. And as I said, this is probably the toughest kick you'll find at Somerville, this one. Well, it has been today, that's for sure. Can Jackson Calder improve? He needs to go. Right to left, Vossie. So Calder it is, has the shot. It's not going to make the distance. It's off the hands of the pack. It's three from behind. So Mornington up to one goal, eight. 14 plays, four, six, 30. We could, we could have a volatile Vossie next week, Suss, with all this bad kicking, I tell you. Jay Caskett right in front of us goes with a low kick. He's got a teammate there and his brother in, in Lockie. And they go off the Bravo tried to get the ball forward, but it was smothered and goes over the line right in front of where, or right near where Brad Wiggy can have been standing this afternoon. Guys, I can tell you in uh, the uh, NFL. Uh, thanks to Solar Heart, you've got some scores for us. an opportunity for Mornington through the agency there are bold a hand pass now quick kick towards the pocket that's going to be picked up there by by Haskett it was who gets it over towards his teammate now they can go out of defense through the agency there of Nathan Gillis he goes out towards the center wing but it's going to come back in now there's a mark had to take that one because three Somerville players are right around the Mornington play there in Barnes. I just got a message short pass, and the message reads, you're sounding good on the big screen in Mackay, Queensland. Hope, oh, I hope you're helping family well. Thank you to Danny Pieman Clements here. He's watching in Mackay. He's only just moved there in the last couple of months. Australia-wide we are. This oh, man Frank's with the ball behind. at the moment, very happy with his mark. So here's an opportunity, and that is oh. a poor kick. Mornington up to one goal, 9-15. I'm sorry, but this is this is not good enough. Nah, it's not. Mornington would be in a very better position, as Michael Voss just said. 1-9-15 plays, 4-6-30. There has been a couple of rush behinds, but they've had oh, four legitimate shots at goal this most, quarter. Most of them have been from set shots, Voss. There's yeah. no question about that. So Rowe with the ball. Quick to play on. He'll go out towards the scoreboard side. The far wing, it's picked up there for Somerville by McDonnell. Now they can go towards half forward for Manus. Oh. He works his way down towards half forward. <laughs> He's now that good. Looking up towards full forward. I think that might be big. Tommy oh! Roberts down there, it takes the mark. He just stuck the big jukes up there, the big fella. <laughs> he had that ball when it was about 60 metres up in the air, Vossie. He had his name written all over it. What a fantastic got, mark. When you've got a guy like him, the size of him, Put him down there, stretch the opposition defence. Correct. Totally agree. Not many, me not many men can go with Tommy Roberts. But can he go back? As he walks in, punts at the ball. No Straight problem through. at all. Straight through, Wiggy. I don't know what you're worried about. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. So a goal kick by Tom Roberts, the first goal of the quarter. It took nearly 18 minutes to come. And uh, just a, a score update thanks to Solar Heart. Edifal Aspendala, five points in front of Mount Eliza. All right, good to see. That is really good to see. If, in fact, what was said this, what, what I said this morning is true, they had to pull a couple in off the street last week to play in the twos. And if that is, in fact, correct, then obviously things not going great for them at the moment. But you know what, you know what helps? A win. 
you get a happy feeling around the place, you get a win, and all of a sudden people smile again. They're five points up, Vossi. I know, I know, but uh, they're going okay as what well. they're going yeah, okay today, yeah. which is good to see. And they're playing at home too. Oh, some of all with the opportunity now to go forward. Mason, it was kicked towards half forward. Sasevich gets it, goes for the hand pass, but it's going to be picked up there, or is it will actually. Some of the player tried to charge through, but it's been picked up there and a quick kick towards full forward, going back. And two ends for beginners there for Mornington. It was Gorker, I think, who went up for that mark and he needed to go with two hands, as it is Mornington will clear through the agency of House. He can go with a bounce. He goes with a second bounce. Goes to Jackson Calder at centre half forward. Rose done a really good job and he's the perfect matchup for, for he Jackson is, he Calder. Definitely is. And that man there in McKenzie, who just gave off the handball, has been very good deep. Oh, that's an interesting kick there, Nico. Nico Mason, speaking to him before the game. Clear, guys, that the uh, Somerville team have brought some super television to the game today. 5 yep. 6 36 plays 1 9 15, went 20 minutes into the second quarter. I don't think you can hear nipples, can you? He's providing us with some. Some special comments thanks to who's your special comments thanks to sus fine my special comments are to tv magic oh, oh TV I, can, magic. I can i can hear you now well, sus that normally happens when you put the earmuffs over your ears <laughs> <laughs> go and clean go and clean your room sus <laughs> put the bins out i think <laughs> North with the ball in a similar position, Vossi. Can he go back and see the goal? They need this, Mornington. Has the shot and puts it through. Has kicked it. Mornington need to get up and about for this. Just looking a little bit flat-footed. North, like many others today, Vossi was able to go back from that same position and kick the ball. He's the man you want with the ball at the moment. So Mornington up to two goals, 9-21, and Somerville 5-6-36, and we played 21 minutes on the Ray White of Frankston scoreboard. It's amazing what you do when you just pull the headset down, isn't it? Oh, yeah. that really is. It, oh, amazing. That is amazing. I'm just getting a little bit of feedback at the moment, but that's all right. Yes, me Executive too. Executive producer will sort that out. Ball back in the centre. So Mornington with that goal, that was their first of the second quarter as the long kick comes towards half forward. Picked up there by North. He gets it back towards his teammate now, back to North. He goes towards centre half forward. That's a beautiful kick. Oh, has the assist on that man there, North. Just able to lower his eyes, find his opponent there, or sorry, his teammate. Go, ball goes inbound, sets him up almost directly in front. It's going to kick from about 40 out. Well played there, North. Oh, Highly rate speedy. that young man. Adrian Speedy with the ball at centre half 40. He'll kick from 40 directly in front. And this will give Mornington a shot in the arm just before half time. Kicking two in a row if, if he can kick this one. Unlike his name, just needs to take his time. So Speedy it is. Has the shot. And he puts it through. So two goals in a row for Mornington. And all of a sudden the margin is back to nine points. 3 9 27. Some of them 5 6 36. You're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of potential football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. Well... I can tell you that Edafal Aspendala, 16 points in front of Mount Eliza. 8 4 52 to 5 to 6 36 is the score there. They're looking, they're looking good. They're looking good at the moment. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> Sasevich into the middle. I don't like that mix up. Ball was smothered. Mornington with the opportunity to pick the ball up but lost control now. Someone will just lock the ball up in the centre of the ground. So ball up to take place. In the ruck there, McDonald for Somerville. He got the ball down. The free kick. 
Mornington with the opportunity to play on the umpire calls advantage. Goes towards centre half forward and the mark has been taken by North. Goosey must have me in his ears, Vossi. Why is that? Well, I said they need to start looking for North and they're doing that. Rowe Row is paying far too much attention to Calder. In fact, he would be beating him. So they need to change their direction, start looking for North. Yeah, Jackson Calder hasn't got into the game as yet. Well, Rowe's just, been, Rowe's just been very good on him. 100% agree. 100% agree on that one. So North with the ball. This to bring the margin back to three points. Does with the kick at goal, it fades and misses. Bit of a scrubber, very down on himself. I'm glad you couldn't hear what he said, because I could. Could you read lips out there, could you? I can. Well, I just gathered. I gathered what he was going to say. Long kick out of defence. Lucks of fortune there for Somerville. Ball comes out. Looking at switching play. Long kick going forward. Big pack flies. Ryan Gillis running onto it. He read the ball well in the air. Too many numbers. Somerville. Handball found. Looking for Maroney. That's holding the ball. Maroney caught there, as you heard, Michael Voss. Great tackle there by Miller. Maroney just needs to get rid of it a little bit quicker. Too much time. Miller on him. Hot, hot. Had no awareness here, Maroney, and he needed to have someone talk to him and say it was hot because Miller got him from the blind side there. And it was always going to get him. So Mornington with the kick out towards half back or centre wing. Mark taken there by House. They can play on here and they go towards half forward. Calder and Rowe. Rowe gets to the contest again and knocks the ball away, but it's going to be picked up by Dinger who gets the ball and goes in short towards 50. Now they go in short once again, looking for and not quite finding. It's knocked down to Calder, who gets a defensive hand pass, and now an opportunity for Mornington still in the pocket. It's taken by Calder. Uh, it's a defensive hand pass, but they're not going too far. Here's some of the defence holding firm. And what's the umpire giving in? Now the umpire's letting play go on. There's a kick out towards half back, and it's taken for Mornington. They can play on and load up. They go to centre half forward. Miller, he'll get to this one. He'll go with a kick-standing start kick by Warwick Miller. He probably should have got himself balanced there. Unfortunately, he kicked it out of bounds on the full. Rowe just dropping back on north when Calder goes forward. And uh, Will Goosey having a spell in the, forward, in the forward line, deep forward. And obviously McKenzie having to go with him, which I like, because it takes McKenzie out of, the, out of the game, boss. He's been good. He's run out of half, uh, out of full back. Very good. So it's smart by Goosey, as in Simon Goosey, Mornington coach. Roberts with the kick towards Fermanis. Fermanis couldn't take the mark, and the ball's over the line for a boundary throw-in. A goal either way here just before half-time is vital. Margin is eight points. Not too many goals kicked in this quarter too, Vossi. Oh, it's a siren to mark half-time. Just goes... 5 6 36 plays Mornington 3 10 28. We might take a very short break and we'll be back. Half time back and Grand Grand and Sue Bogart back. You are listening and watching the Hawkins Sports Report. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. With Bendigo Bank's new complete home loan, you'll be completely taken care of. With a completely awesome rate, complete offset on fixed and variable loans, and a home loan specialist completely dedicated to you. So if you're not completely sure about the big four, 
Search Bendigo Bank Complete Home Loan or head into Bendigo Bank. The Better Big Bank. Lending criteria, terms, conditions, fees and charges apply. A station sponsor. Brighton Auto is your Bayside and Peninsula automotive one-stop shop. This all-in-one award-winning Mitsubishi, MG and Sanyong dealership is also offering Holden certified parts and service. They have a huge range of new, demo and used vehicles plus factory trained service technicians. Your proud RPPFM station sponsor, Brighton Auto, will also ensure your dream car is well within reach and kept in great hands. Why not visit brightonauto.com.au or find them at 67 Nepean Highway, Elstonwick, LMCT 10680. Rowan um, Marriott, how are you going? Yeah, good, thanks, Pete. That's great to have you down here. Oh, sorry, it's great for you to have us down yeah, here. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, um, Rowan, tell us a bit about what's happening down at the club. You're the president down here at Somerville. Yeah, we're just trying to win a few games at the moment. It's tightened up a bit um, in the seams, but the under-19s and uh, reserves had a good win. So, yeah, we're just um, trying to get four points every week at the moment. No, and can you tell us a bit about your sponsors? Who? Uh yeah, well, we've got um, Ingham's are our major sponsors, along with Build Safe. Um, we've got the Middies boys up in the box today. We're actually playing for the summer was playing for the um, Middies Player of the Day. So yeah. And that uh, that box, I can tell you, uh, Craigo is uh, a long lost uh, work uh, box from Blue Scope Steel down at Hastings, where yep. I used to work. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So uh, thanks to Ron Bange down there at. Yep. Uh, came uh, down this way and I think Hastings got one as well. Yeah, I think so, that's right. And uh, so, yeah, no, great asset that, to have a super box at a uh, local ground. Yeah, it's a good good source of income and um, two years ago when we took uh, took the keys, it was a bit hard to sell, but now you could probably sell 15 each, boxes a year. Yeah, each, each, each week. It's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, Rowan, your alignment with your juniors, we had blue, we had uh, yep. Bluey and yep. Toes on this morning. They talked about the uh, pink day that's coming up. Yeah. But he, they also mentioned that the, the alignment between the juniors and the seniors was pretty good. Yeah, well, they're, they're probably our future um, going forward. So the more players we can home grow and talent we can produce, it means that we're just basically trying to chase marquee players. So, um, yeah, so we, we try and... Um, the senior club, football netball club, wants to have a footprint in the community. I think we're achieving that at the moment. So, yeah, so it's important we have a alignment with the junior club and that's where the future of our club lies. So the best and we can do is work together. And understanding, speaking of you with you yesterday, there's a ladies' uh, ladies lunch on today. Yeah, yeah, got their uh, annual ladies' luncheon. So um, I think every club has it. So they're having a good time. They're dressed up. So, um, again, like um, our... We've really put some resources into the netball area, led by Christy, and have a marquee player, a ex uh, National League netballer. So yeah, the A grade are cruising along, and B grade still on top. So I think they're third and first respectively. So um, yeah, 20, 20 odd uh, netballers come over for a meal on the Thursday now. So yeah, it's good. And I suppose um, after COVID, how how's the club going? Yeah, we. Over COVID, it was interesting. We spent a lot of time on... Um, oh, we've got wellbeing champions now, so we, sp we spent a fair bit of time on our um, on mental health and wellbeing. So we've got 10 wellbeing champions. And, um, yeah, so we've spent a little... Over COVID, we um, basically parked the football and netball and concentrated on our members and, them and their mental health and wellbeing. So um, that's ticking along real well. 
And with that, I suppose I'll put you on a question without notice. I gave yep. you a bit of notice yesterday, yep. but we won't discuss what's yep. happened in the past. We won't yep. discuss what's happened in the future. Yep. So we're, we're trying to get a message out to all clubs that um, if uh, you're a spectator out here and or a supporter and you're going to throw um, some uh, choice words around, yep. that uh, you're really not, not welcome. Did you get a chance to have a look at that little demo? Yeah, it did. It was good, actually. And that's... Um when we first sat down with Sean Graff and went through that, we want to be um, respected off the field and play hard on the field. But when it comes to off the field, we want to be respectful and and um, you know we want to we want people to come to Somerville and think, geez, they're a well-run club and they've got really good spectators and they're respectful. So I'm big into that sort of thing because at the end of the day, if we can't get it right off the ground, we won't get it right on the ground. Yeah. And well, I think that's for the whole competition. You know, yep. Gone are the days, you know, the yep. 80s, the 90s, yep. when there was a bit of biffo and all that. Yep. And this is where it comes down, is parents don't want to come and see that. No. Yep. They want their kids to come to an environment where yep. they can have a sit in their car, Safe. let the kids run around, yep. and uh, have, have a nice day. So yep. if we're going to have that other stuff, I'll call it, yep. then uh, that they're not interested. And that's, and that's great, um, Rowan, that you're, you're, you're jumping on to that. And hopefully we'll hear some more news in the next week Yeah, or definitely, two. definitely. We're really happy to be supporting you with that. At the end of the day, it comes back to the junior club. We want the parents of the juniors clubs to think um, that, you know, so I can send my kids down to Sumble. They're going to be looked after. They're going to be, um, you know, le- taught respect. In it. Not taught, but, you know, get to respect. And, you know, if we can be respected off the field, it's just important what we can do on the field. No worries. Anything else you'd like to discuss with us? No, no, it's, yeah, we just uh, need the four points this week. Um, otherwise, you know, we'll be chasing our tails. But, it, look, the competition's pretty uh, even at the moment. It's, so It's great. Like, start of the year, I had some in my top two. Yes. And, um... And there's reasons. There's all types of reasons. I yep. know you've had a lot of injuries. Yep. And I heard last week uh, on the Friday that uh, a number pulled out yep. due, due to reasons. But um, yep. look, if uh, uh, a healthy Somerville is a healthy uh, MP in the NFL competition. Yeah, correct. Yep. And that's and that's what we long. And that's a good lot of spirit down here at, yep. uh, at yep. uh, Jones Road. Yep. And uh, we wish you all the best for the year. Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. It has, um, I suppose, the summy, uh, and you always get it when you come down to Jones Road, is the summy's uh, physicality, and look, they will, as soon as you're tackled, they will make you feel it. And I think the uh, Mornington boys are a bit, uh, oh, not a, sorry, uh, are not comfortable with that. They're not comfortable with the hard work. I'm going to put it out there. They're, uh, th- th- they play out wide a fair bit. So it uh, be interesting to see where things go. Um, but in for an interesting uh, second half. So we'll uh, we'll take it back. Um, I'll just hand you over the boys while I jump back into the van, and uh, we'll get uh, get the show on the road.
Thank you very much, Craigo. Uh, Well-deserved little break. Uh, thanks to yourself, mate, and, uh, of course, our executive producer uh, in um, in in uh, Nipple Sussovich, of course, Pete Sussovich, just having a chat to the uh, the Somerville president, which was a, a good conversation, wasn't it, Craigo? Yep. Uh, yeah, look, it's a fantastic crowd. Uh, pretty good atmosphere. Absolutely, Michael. I was told to call the some of all President Trumpy. Trumpy. Do you, is there a backstory behind that? Or? Uh, just uh, one of the fathers there of some of all player. He just uh, happened to say that he'd call him Trumpy. Okay, good to know. So Trumpy there joining us at halftime. Uh, the Somerville president. Always great to have presidents come on board and, and just tell them a little about their... Uh, li sorry, tell us a little bit about their football club and why they're passionate. Uh, it takes a lot of work to be in, uh, in administration at a football club, netball club, any kind of, uh, any kind of f sporting club. So to get them on uh, to discuss everything their club, it's uh, absolutely well worth... Uh, well worth their time and our time to, to be able to do that and uh, and you know it's it's important for us Vossi to uh, to get behind our football clubs and, and promote sponsors and and alike and uh, and ultimately mate uh, everyone gets something out of our coverage and uh, it's, it's fantastic but um, both teams back out on the track uh, as uh, Wiggy just of course Brad Canavan the Somerville coach just uh, gives me a little wink and uh, and uh, look, it's uh, a great friend of of the uh, the football show, the Toe Punt football show. And speaking of the Toe Punt football show, Vossi, how great was it to have the new regional manager of uh, AFL South East in uh, in Will Dacus? Uh, what a Very fantastic, good. impressive young man he's. All of uh, 32 years old, uh, comes with an exceptional experience uh, in the corporate world. Uh, and, you know, played a little bit of football. He stands at about six foot five, so plenty of uh, basketball in his career. Uh, he said he didn't play at any so any real sort of level, uh, playing at uh, a little footy at uh, Trinity uh, in the Vaffa and, uh, and and alike. So, mate, he's, uh, he's a new appointment at AFL Southeast. He's already doing some amazing things down there. So we had him on the, uh, the Toe Punt Football Show this morning, and uh, what a delight that was. It certainly was, and... Right now, the wind it seems to have picked up a little bit. Yeah, it does seem to have picked up a little bit out on the ground, Vossi. I still think it's blowing uh, sort of from, from pocket to pocket, uh, so from back pocket to forward pocket, uh, as some of them are just getting back in their positions. Plenty going on. Of course, Tyab Airport just around the corner, Vossi, so the odd plane flying over. You might be able to hear that in our... Uh, effects mics. I don't know whether you've seen him here today, but our great man Rab's here today. Rab is here. Of course, he used to... Uh, I'm not sure what happened to Rab, but um, hopefully he's OK. Well, I did have the opportunity to say good day to him earlier, so he said he was going to go up the other side of the ground with his amazing equipment to take some still shots and some videos. So we say uh, an honourable and a special mention to Rab, who used to, uh, who used to do a lot of work with RWP, didn't he, Vossi? He's a very good photographer in what he does. Just waiting for the crowd to disperse here at Somerville Recreational Reserve, and we will get the third quarter action underway. Of course, half time. He's just about to go as the umpire picks up the ball. 5 6 36 plays Mornington 3 10 28 as he holds the ball aloft to start the third quarter. This is definitely the scoring in this right hand in the score. No question. The no so question. And that is the way the wind's blowing. But they're it? all missing to the left hand side. So let's see whether the players adjust in this second half. Some will get the centre clearance. They go towards full forward with the kick and that misses to this side. So I reckon that's just about the first one they've missed to this side for the day in actual fact. So some will move up to 5, 7, 37, Mornington, uh, three goals, 10, 28. Paul Fermanis with an early opportunity there, just missing far side, Bossy, as you mentioned. The scoreboard hasn't uh, registered the fact that quarter started, so maybe just uh, someone press the button in there and get that time clock underway. First goal, huge this quarter. Poor kick out of defence for Mornington, chopped off. 
by Somerville. Wields around on the right. Centering ball. Gillis flies, unable to take the mark in the contest. Ball comes down. Mornington with it at the moment. Looking to clear the ball here. Chopped off there by Somerville. Ball goes to ground again. Picked up by Somerville. Quick to move it on. Wheels around on the right. Looking for Sedgwick. Just beating the pack to the line. Umpire to throw it back in. Dominant start early by Somerville with all the play. And for those of you wanting to know how the Franks and Dolphins are faring at uh, Williamstown this afternoon, Williamstown are 24 points in front at halftime. 6-5-41 to the Dolphins, 2-5. 17, so hopefully the Dolphins can make a bit of a comeback in that second half. Thanks to Solar Heart. Long kick by Sasevich out of defence. Gets it towards the centre wing. The, but some of they will get the ball back through the agency there of Mason. He goes towards half forward. It's picked up there by McDonald. He gets it. Now it's a smothered, smothered kick off the boot. Ball about 40 metres out from the goal at Mornington are defending and they're holding up OK at the moment, although the ball has ended up with the arms there of Moroni. Kick off the ground towards about 30 metres out from goal. Fermanis comes out, tries to pick up the ball and and uh, trying to a bit of a spin. But now Mornington with the ball, a high kick out towards the centre wing. Picking the ball up again. Mason oh, was tackled, holding great, the ball. Great pressure there by Mornington defence. Just relentless there, resulting in a free kick. And that's actually North there applying that tackle. So he's floated up the ground. I don't mind that. Stands at about six foot four for our... Listeners, so North has gone south in his <laughs> direction today. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's not bad from you, Michael. <laughs> Morning to the opportunity. They get the ball and they have the shot at goal and oh. they hit the post. As the, they managed to get the kick over the top and run under the ball, but unfortunately for them, they missed. So Mornington up to 311 29. Jackson called to their foot race, able to quick the ball up, pick the ball up, I should say. Sorry. There's a kick out of defence and Somerville with the ball. Right half back flank. Somerville just looking for possession football at the moment. Now the long kick down the line. Going up McDonald. He was way, way early in, in that contest. It's picked up now for Somerville. They get the ball forward towards for at centre half forward. He's up against Gorka. Gorka managed to, uh, to hold his own in the contest. Ball kicked off the ground. Players come from both directions. Kane for Mornington. He was beaten to the contest here and Somerville with the opportunity to, to get the ball into the centre of the ground. Big Tommy Roberts has got it. He goes to the low, kick towards half forward. And picking the ball up, there is Nagel. A long kick at goal by Paddy Nagel and off target. And I reckon he was ready to do, I know Paddy quite well, I reckon Paddy was just about to do a bit of a, a bit of a... Absolutely. Just get how, up. How, how good am I with that kick? He just missed. Okay. So we've played four minutes in the second second half. Somerville are 5 8 38, Mornington are 3 11 29. We're live here thanks to TV Magic. North. No, not North. Who was that there, Vossi? That was met heavily. Ball goes out of bounds. Umpire to throw the ball back in, far side of the ground. Who's leading the uh, who's leading the Eliza Meets Meet try at the moment? Oh, that is uh, an honourable question. I'll give, you, I'll give you a little bit of notice on that. Okay. You can come back to me on that if, you, if you're struggling right now. I am struggling right now. Because if I was to ask you the same question, what would your response be, please? Um, That's okay. I reckon, we'll I, reckon, I, reckon, I reckon Big Tommy Roberts has played all right in the first oh, half. Oh, Tom Roberts has been good. I like, uh, I've liked Mackenzie's run off He's been the good. back line. Mackenzie's been very good. But I've also liked Burton. Burton's been uh, that one percenter every time. Uh, but I also think Ryan Gillis has been extremely good off the ball. There's a kick towards half forward. And speaking of the man, Ryan Gillis, he's going to be beaten there by Kane. Oh. He'll get the ball back here, Kane. He'll go over the top. Now the ball is with Dalziel, who goes down the line towards centre wing. Mark has been taken. They can play on here, Mornington, through the agency of Brown. Kick towards half forward. Knocking the ball, but straight into the waiting arms there of the player in Mantell for Somerville. He goes around. North gets him. He might have given away the free kick as the ball came no. out, but he, st he still held onto him there in that contest. But yeah, as it but is... he's been pinged for dropping the ball, which is a good call by the umpire there. He's got the free kick here north. He was the man who kicked the winning goal a couple of weeks ago at Devon Meadows on Anzac Day. It's kicked towards centre-half forward, and the mark has been taken. Fantastic mark there. Jackson Calder went up for it. A pack of Somerville 
defensive boys went up as well, Vossi, and then that mark just come from nowhere. I'm not sure, taken there by uh, House. Oh, he brought the house down with that one. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, that was crispy. <laughs> Love your work, short pass. <laughs> so this this to get the first goal of the third quarter. Mornington going against what breeze there is in this third quarter. Has the shot, and he misses. The far side. They're Very missing the far side to us at the right hand end, and they're missing the near side to us, the left hand end. Spot on, spot on. And in fact, Vossi, funnily enough, the uh, the wind is going from that point post to that point post. So maybe something in that. That breeze which did pick up, it sort of dropped down a little bit now. As the kick goes out towards Marshall, he got rid of his opponent, but couldn't take the mark and the ball goes over for a boundary throw in. That light tower there, just in a terrible position. Morning's Peninsula Shire, if you can move that, please. So boundary umpire throws the ball back into play. Tommy Roberts winning that one. Taken by Nathan Gillis. Gets a hand pass over towards his teammate there in Burton, who goes out towards centre wing, and the mark's been taken. Now they can switch towards half forward. Looking there for McDonald. He tried to slide into it, but he wasn't going to get that mark. Still comes to Somerville, though. Long kick towards full forward there by Sutton goes through for AB Hines. So Somerville up to 5, 9, 39. Just needing to Mornington lower. 3, 12, 30. We've played uh, eight minutes in the third quarter. Just needed to lower the eyes there a bit, Vossi. You had, um, you had Paul Fermanis out and Ryan Gillis out. Not by themselves, but I'd rather that contest some blazing from 55 out. Just need to lower the eyes a little bit, Somerville. So this quarter being played as the first and second was. Goals very hard to come by in the first six minutes. In fact, there's been none so far. Well, Miller unlucky there not to get one high. There's a kick for Mornington by Ash towards half forward. Going back and taking the mark. I think that might be Brown who's got it. He's been all right for Mornington today. He's getting a bit of the ball, just hasn't been able to finish off. There's a kick towards Calder at centre half forward. Jackson oh, Calder trying to get the boot in. Now, quick snap, but Dole is going to hit the post. Oh, very smart footy there by Jackson Calder. Just with a toe poke there, just uh, just shoveling the ball underneath to his uh, teammate there, able to pick the ball up. Unfortunate there, hitting the post. Mornington 3 13 31, Somerville 5 9 39. Ray White Frankston scoreboard. And Mornington just have had two posters this quarter. They've got the opportunity once again. That's Dinger who sets it up towards full four. That's going to be a mark and that's going to be an easy goal. And the goal has been kicked there by Will Goosey. So they have the goal that they desperately needed there. Mornington to get themselves right back. Will Goosey kicks the first goal of the third quarter. He was the man in defence. Uh, sorry, in, in the goal square. The defence uh, tried to go out and get the ball. The ball was turned over and turned into an easy goal there for Mornington. 4-13-37, Summerville 5-9-39. You're listening and watching RPPM, the voice of financial football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And welcome back to uh, the uh, Somerville Sports Reserve. Uh, just a quick score update, boys. Uh, Lang Warren still in front, 34 points up on Chelsea. Uh, Devon Meadows, 24 points up on Hastings. Uh, Seaford 56 points up on Rye. Um, uh, Karingal, uh, what's that, 29 points up on Crip Point. Uh, nice and uh, Pearsdale are, uh, what's that, um, 48 points up on Tyab. So Pearsdale going strong for their second victory of the season after winning only one in 2019 as the kick goes inside attacking 50 off the ground and Somerville into attack. Deep in the forward pocket. We've played 10 minutes in the third quarter. It's Somerville by two points. 5 9 39. Mornington, four goals, 13 37. Both sides, are, Mornington have obviously missed a fair few, but Somerville have missed a few as well. So it's not alone here, Mornington. Somerville have missed their share of uh, gettable goals as well. Susovic tackled, oh. holding the ball. Wasn't quick enough. And he, uh, what, it, his dad would be shaking his head now, he, would he? He absolutely is what he's doing. <laughs> And uh, look, Sus, not not uh, not to mention, mate, not enough talk going out there. He should have been called. We should have been able to hear hot, 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 but we didn't. So lucky Sosovic, just uh, unlucky there, giving that free kick away to Paul Fermanis. Oh, what a great goal as Paul Fermanis takes one, two, three steps 
and goes whack from about 40 out. Is it Fermanis? No, it's not. My bad. Is it McKenzie? Has McKenzie gone forward? Just yet to pick up that man, player. Man, they're, man, they're just, just reaching, it, reaching out to Ryan Gillis there. I reckon no, that's that, Marshall. That was Marshall. So Marshall there, looking very much like Paul Fermanis. When you want a goal, what do you do? Call a Marshall. Holler for a Marshall. Very good from you, Michael. Some of all getting the job there. Is that, I think, first goal in the third term, Bossy? For them, yep. So margin is eight points. Some have got about 15 minutes of wind assisted time to go. As I said, it's not strong. It's just probably about two goals at the moment, but this d definitely is a screwing in the scoreboard into the ground or the right end. And if your radio dial or your TV screen is uh, yeah, my good mate, uh, Danny the Pie Man Clements, even though he hasn't done the Pie Man job for years, still calling Pie Man. He's watching live and probably having a few Forex golds in, uh, in Mackay at the moment. Not a bad midi is Forex. So um, eight points is the margin in favour of Somerville. Ball picked up there by Haskett. Lockie, he, lo he lost control. He got tackled as he tried to get rid of it. Now the kick goes down towards centre wing. Up goes Calder. The ball comes down. It's picked up there by Bold for Mornington. A kick towards centre half forward. Going up and taking a mark. Surely that's a mark. He had about eight does at that. As it is, they might still have an opportunity for a goal here, Mornington. They've got the ball. Mornington absolutely under board. pressure. Check side. Boonana didn't pay off. North with the ball now. Snap. Ball still in play. Somerville under pressure. Should that have been a mark short kick. pass? Oh. At some point, you have to take possession of it, and I don't think he had possession of it. He was juggling it. But it's all Somerville at the moment as they enter their 50. McDonald didn't go with two hands there. And they, Mornington might make him pay if they can switch this all the way down the other end of the ground. Kane got a bump after he got rid of the ball. Now quick kick towards the centre of the ground. It's picked up there. A hand pass to Marshall. It was the last goal kick of a Somerville. Goes to Fermanis. Oh, he, yeah. got a, he got a good solid bump there, Fermanis. He's going to get a free kick. Dinger there just meeting for Manus, taking on the body rather than the ball. Sedgwick unlucky there, just getting tripped in that marking contest. Ball comes out with that man there for Manus, uh, sorry, Sedgwick. And uh, Genty of course, to come when, in when, and when throw the ball up. Pie man, what do you call your son? Party Pie. <laughs> He's with his son, they're drinking Northerns actually, <laughs> watching the footy in uh, Oh, great Northerns, even Big better. screen TV. What better way to do that would, have been, would be about, what, 26 degrees, I reckon, up there at the moment. It'd be quite warm. It's a good day to have a couple of quiet ales. Paul Fermanis met there by Lockie Susovich. Ball goes, oh, out of bounds. Umpire to throw it back in. They've been good today, the officiators. 14 minutes played in the third quarter. It is Somerville by eight points. Are they going to get it? No. The crowd wanted a free kick. The umpire said they no. Did. A high kick out of defence is going to go out in the full and some of them will load up again through the agency of Paddy Nagel. Pen, plenty of talk going, chirping. Genty getting involved, of course. The master officiator. One of SUA's best. On and off the field. Pumping kick back in. Attacking 50 for some of them again, but to be met by Mornington. Short kick finding north. Half full, half back position for them, I should say. Or was that hands in the back? Somerville lucky. Good defensive mark. Quick to play on. Ball, long kick down the wing. North again goes up. Ball comes out. Stacks on the mill. Genty to come in, Bossy, and throw it back up. Courtesy of Solar Heart. Pines are nine points in front of Red Hill. Yes, I did notice that. Pines. Well done to them. They're going, going okay. Right and today. Both Edifal and, and Pines, exactly, they play each other next week. Exactly right. They're showing something, as I as I suggested this morning. Get something out of it. Uh, if you get a win this afternoon, all the, all the better. But obviously a chance for both sides next week. And not to say they're not a chance now because they're both still in front. Jackson Calder off the deck there again, Vossi. That ball went about 40 metres. Puts Mornington in a very good position again. Unfortunately, stacks on the mill. 
Umpire to throw it back up. Roberts goes up, wins decisively. Ball comes out, long under kick. Jackson flies, can't take it. Quick kick out of the pack. Ball goes forward to be met by Somerville. Clearing kick, finding Haskett of the Lockie variety. Has to go back and get the ball there. He dropped, he dropped the mark of what he should have taken there, Lockie Haskett, but Somerville went out. That's a big kick towards half forward. Leading out there is the Mornington player in Harrington. He's got Cedric a couple of metres behind him, so he's got time to set this up and go down the line, but that is a poor kick, and that is out of bounds on the full. Cedric, there yeah, just looking a little bit proppy, Vossi. Not able to keep up with that contest, but still applying pressure, which so is good. Somerville with the opportunity to go forward. They go towards attacking 50. Going back, and it's what's been a happening here? The umpires give it a free field, kick. Downfield, downfield, disposed of after the kick. Undisciplined football there by Mornington. So some of them 55 out from their goal. A goal here, and all of a sudden the margin will be nearly three goals in a low-scoring game. It's not going to be the easiest lead. So Mornington has just got to hold firm here. Eight points down. It's a low-scoring game, and you don't want to let this lead go out much, much further. Long kick towards full forward. Sasevich couldn't take the mark. Ball on the ground. Now an opportunity for Mornington to clear. And they go down the line towards the centre wing. One-on-one -on -one contest now. Cavalry arrives and the umpire says, I'm going to ball it up. That's North in that contest again, Bossy. He's been exceptional today for the Mornington Bulldogs. Kicked the winning goal a couple of weeks ago in a, in a decision that I'd probably still say wasn't a, wasn't a free kick. And I think a lot will agree with you. Ball goes out of bounds, umpire to throw it back in. We have a great contest here at Somerville Recreational Reserve. 6-9-45, plays Mornington 4-13-37. We've played 16 and a half minutes on the Ray White of Frankston scoreboard. Haskett with the ball, Lockie for, Morn uh, for uh, Somerville. Still now the with ball, the ball comes out now, an opportunity for Roberts, a quick kick to centre half forward. Going oh. back to take the mark, that's oh. a mark. That is a mark. And that's a, a mark to Richardson. Fantastic effort there by Richardson going back with the fly to the ball. Met solidly there by Ryan Gillis. Not a man you want to be met solidly. There's a kick out towards halfback. Mark taken by Sasevich. Sasevich just floating up the ground again. I don't mind that. Taking Fermanis out of that forward line. Long kick towards half forward. Oh, was that a free kick? No, it's out of bounds, I think. If anyone's at Devon Meadows and can actually tell us and have actually put a comment up on social media on the RWP voice of the Peninsula Facebook page or the RWP Peninsula Footy Facebook page, I'd love to know how Brett Delidio is going in his game today. Do you reckon Neil Craig could answer that? I, think I don't reckon be. he would. I don't think he's busy coaching personally. Mount Eliza are up by 10 points. Pick up Neil. Far, thanks to Solar Heart. Oh, Bomb Beach and Sereno is getting close. There's only a point the difference there with Bomb Beach in front. Bomb Beach are always going to come back. Sus. The Stone Cats up by 19 points. I'm just looking at Sus. Did you work out whether the Stone Cats was one word or two, Sus? That's two words from the it's, uh, two. it's not two. It's not two, Sus. Uh, um, so we're just, uh, we're just about to hit time on in the third quarter. We should be getting a good shot there. Sedgwick just going through his pace at the moment. He's is a little bit tight. He's just worried very, about very the ball tight. Drop. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the special effects mic, but uh, just worried about his hamstring there. But he seems to be kicking very high, so I don't think there's really much of an issue. But he's going to, either way, he's going to go down and get a bit of a rub. Ryan Dillis on the bench as well. Looking a little bit frustrated is Ryan Gillis. He likes to kick bags, but he's been very good off the ball. He's been supplying the likes of that man there, getting a rub down, Sedgwick and, uh, and Paul Fermanis. He's been very good for my liking. That's Paul from Mornington. They dropped the mark, and now they go here, Somerville. Oh, they're through on the here. agency of Nagel. They go to half forward. They've got Wybrow. the man created at the back. Wybrow with the ball. He gets a hand pass off. 40 metres out, running into goal, having the shot and kicking the goal. That's better by the Somerville Football Club. Just being caught off guard, you called it. Bossy. It was Lockie Haskett. was Lockie Haskett. Just 
Mornington undisciplined there, dropping that mark, resulting in a turnover. True Somerville style, quick to move it on. One, two, three possessions, resulting in Lockie Huskett kicking a goal. Well done. You are listening and watch. No, you're not. You are listening and watching the voice of Peninsula Football. Brad Canavan, Wiggy, just barking out orders from the boundary line. I love that from him. He's a very vocal coach. Whilst it's not a huge lead, 14 points in the way this game's been played, it's it's a very good lead. And if I can get one more, I reckon, uh, I reckon it's advantage. It's probably a 50-50 game going into the last quarter with Mornington having been scoring it in the last quarter. Seven. Kane takes the mark. He was up there against his opponent there in Marshall, but uh, Kane beat him to it and took the mark. Seven goals kicked Vossi for Somerville and seven different goal scorers. No one has kicked multiple goals yet. And I reckon they've kicked six of those down to this end. And Mornington have kicked... Great defensive there. Great defensive two down mark, sorry, taken two by. Two of their four down to the right end end. As the kick goes towards full forward, Sasevich need to play the role of defender there. He got the ball down and they go towards the line and get over for a boundary throw in. 22 minutes played in the third quarter. Bravo, happy there just to see the ball go over. Wybrow's been good in this quarter. Young 64. A welcomed entry back into the Somerville side. Ball thrown back into play. Mornington can't afford to concede here. They've just got to try and hold firm before three-quarter time. It's not going to be a long quarter. It's about 23 minutes in the third quarter, but it's not going to be very long, that's for sure. Your, uh, your fans have just joined, joined us over my right shoulder. Your, your fans have just come down and said good yeah, just some just some groupies. Oh. It's the beard. Of course it's the beard. Oh, fantastic pick up there by, um, by young Luke Burton there, finding a leading, I'm not sure who that player is. Mantel. Over Mantel, thank you, Michael. Mantel coming out like a freight train there. It's going to kick from that same position that a lot of goals have been missed from today. So can Mantel do it better than anyone? I reckon you've got to more aim it towards the right post. Yeah, totally agree. If not for the point post, as he sets sail. That's he gets a lot better. Mantel absolutely just nailing that one. Adds to their eight goal scorer, Vossi. 8 9 57 Somerville Mornington 4 13 37. You're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And as we come back, uh, Rosebud in front over the Frankston Bombers. Uh, Sorrento and Bond Beach, a point in at Bond Beach 52, Sorrento 51. Uh, Frankston YCW uh, are uh, 19 point leaders over Dramana. Uh, and in the uh, Edith Vale Aspendale Mount Eliza game, uh, Mount Eliza have skipped out to an 11 point lead. And there's one point in at Pines, one point up on Red Hill. Just watching Ben Centric do a couple yeah. of run-ups. and uh, he, he looks okay in the, yeah, in the he's running moving, there. he's moving fine. Just doing some stretching exercises there. It'll be interesting to see what... Uh, I reckon he's going to come... I reckon he's definitely going to come back oh, on. But maybe maybe it might not be on. this quarter, but it might, it might be in the last quarter. Ball wrapped up there, far side of the ground. He's got a fan position. there. Does have a fan. He's moving okay, Seji, so it'll be interesting. Yeah, no, he, looks, he looks all right in the run-through, so I reckon... Good, Seji. You good to go? Not 100% sure. Just a little bit little bit tight there in the hamstrings, I think. Seems to be moving okay, but uh, he's unsure, as he just commented to us, which is fantastic of Seji there. Appreciate the players' inputs. 25 minutes into the third quarter. Margin is 20 points. Mornington really need to get a goal on the board here before three-quarter time. They... They, look, it's, whilst it's manageable, they need to kick straight. At four goals out of 17 shots at goal. It doesn't all go well for them at the moment. There's a big thump down, and the ball's taken there on this occasion by Nagel. He gets a hand pass off, now they can go forward. Here's Somerville. They go with a long kick down the line towards centre-half forward. But it's picked up there for Mornington. It's picked up by Gorka, who goes in short. The mark has been taken. It's been taken there by Goosey, who goes towards the half-forward line, but... The ball wasn't marked. 
Now some will the opportunity to clear and they get it down towards centre wing. Is that going to be 50? No, it's not. It's marked by McKenzie. In front of North. No, it's not. It's Williams. Thanks, Gossie. It's Williams. Long kick towards half or forward pocket. Taken there by Wybrow. A defensive hand pass now. Quick kick. Just need to stand there. I was uh, waiting for him to go then with some Mornington player in Dowsell. He would have been caught. He gets it off towards North. So interesting they're playing North in defence in this quarter. I reckon they'll definitely be playing in forward line in the last yeah. quarter. Just especially, with the quarter he, especially with the quarter he had in the second quarter too, Vossi. He was that other option when quarter was double man. Protect the scoreboard a little bit. But they're, ju they're just losing. They haven't got that extra tall down there to help out Jackson Calder, who hasn't kicked the goal so far. Crowd want a free kick. The umpire says no. Margin 20 points. Somerville have kicked three goals this quarter. Morning to kick one. Shouldn't be too much longer to go this quarter. We've played 27 minutes. 26. Ball picked up for Mornington there by Ash, who goes towards centre half back. And he hit Dinger, who can play on Bryce Dinger. He goes out towards the wing. And leading in the race of the ball, but not being able to keep the ball in play. There is bold for Mornington, and over the line goes the ball. Crowd just starting to get a little bit vocal, Vossi. I don't mind that as long as they just keep it respectful. A lot of women around. Nath Gillis just getting a little bit of attention there as well. Just feeling a bit tight, I think. Just going to do a couple of run-throughs. Just tight through the hammies, I think. There. Big Nath. Bit proppy, I think, Vossi. Got the Bailey Smith hair there. Does. Nathan Dillis. There's a Matt. quick kick from Mornington towards half forward. Leading out there was the player in uh, in Barnes, oh, but he's lost control bully. now. Some of them will clear. They go towards the centre of the ground. Now they've got the loose man. They can go towards attacking 50. Going up and taking the mark is Travis Bravo, who will go back from basically 50. What a beautiful kick there, though, by Lockie Haskett. He saw. Um, That, that is Trav Bravo too. He saw, um, so obviously uh, Ryan Gillis was coming out, but also McDonald as well, but just one kick forward. This is a huge kick in the context of the game. Somerville up by 20 points. The siren is gone. It's a kick at goal. That's a goal. And did that hit the post or just snuck in? No, they're saying it snuck in. Yeah, it snuck in. They're happy, so uh, the ball has been put through and Somerville out by 26 points. That just might be a match winning lead. At <laughs> three-quarter time. Well, they've kicked four goals and they need five. You work out the math short pass Abs on that. Abs You're listening <laughs> and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula Football. Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV problems disappear. A station sponsor. And welcome back to uh, the uh, Sports Reserve here in uh, Somerville. And uh, the exciting end there to the third quarter. Uh, before we go to uh, the summary with the short pass, quick uh, go around the grounds. Um, Lang Warren, 9 uh, 11 65. Chelsea, 2 5 17. Uh, Devon Meadows, 7 6 48. Hastings, uh, 4 3 33. Uh, Rye, 7 6 48. Uh, doing it tough against Seaford, 18 11. 119, Karingal 11672, Crip Point 6844, Somerville 9963, Mornington 4 1337, our three quarter time score here, uh, Pearsdale 121082, and Tyab 4428. That's in Division 2. If we take a quick look at Div 1 for you, uh, Rosebud uh, 61450 over Frankston Bombers 31028, uh, Bond Beach 71153. Sorrento 7951, uh, Frankston YCW 10363, Dramana 6238. Uh, in the bunt game we've been watching today closely, Matt Eliza 101676, Edie Asp 11672, and uh, Red Hill are back in front up on the hill 7749 over the Pines 7344. Uh, looking at uh, what's happening in the AFL for you uh, into the fourth quarter. And it's uh, the Suns uh, are what uh, 
15 point leaders over St Kilda and uh, the GWS are 30 point leaders over the Bombers and of course Frankston going down to Williamstown earlier on today in the VFL. That's the uh, the update for you there, short pass. Oh, thanks, Craig. Oh, fantastic work there uh, around the grounds. Thanks to Sheik. Not sure if uh, you could hear uh, coming through the cans. There was uh, just uh, Nathan Gillis and uh, and Ben Sedgwick there, just going through their paces. Still, Sedgwick saying it might be a little bit higher, so just struggling around the uh, the top of the buttocks there, uh, just a bit tight uh, when he was that. Uh, that couple of tight boys at the uh, at the Somerville Football Club just to uh, make a mention too we've been talking about uh, goal kickers Craig go in the last couple of minutes and uh, uh, it's interesting with uh, with that last goal kicker there being their ninth in um, who kicked that last Charles goal Bravo. Was it? yeah Bravo thank you so Bravo being their ninth goal kicker in there uh, and their scoreboard reads 9963. So very, very interesting yet uh, yet to put multiple goal kickers on the board. There's been none for the whole day. Now, Mornington have got to somehow get Jackson Calder involved in this game. Luke Rowe, every contest, Luke Rowe has basically beaten him to it. Uh, he's getting his hand in there. He's, he's just he's just manning him up very close. He's the perfect matchup because Jackson Calder can stretch. Luke Rowe can stretch. That's exactly right. And I think I think as far as uh, movability and, and around the ground, I think Rowe gets him every day of the week, Fossey. But what I like about Mornington's lineup, uh, their forward lineup at the moment, is you've got North, and then with the inclusion of Miller in there, why do they, another two massive targets. North dominated in the in the second quarter and then he was playing off the ball uh, down the back and then and then was sort of on the ball uh, during parts of that third quarter. We've got some fantastic images coming to you uh, thanks to the uh, the Vision team and uh, TV Magic and Chic. Uh, we've got uh, Brad Wiggy Canavan just going through the team list there. Fantastic vision that we're getting uh, thanks to TV Magic and Chic. I'll be interested to see what Ben Sedgwick is going to do because I spoke to the runner who was in the room as I went into the club before and uh, he was saying he reckons he will come back on. Oh, there's a bit of, bit of J-Lo, Let's Get Loud earlier. It's like, that's, oh, a, that's, a, that's a great song, that one. Maybe just after after this uh, game, mate, it'll be kicking on. Maybe you could just go in and show them how twerking's done. <laughs> um, 26 points is the margin at three-quarter time. As I said, Mornington has got to get Jackson Calder into it because he, he has not kicked a goal so far. To be honest, he hasn't looked like it. No, because Roe, as mentioned, Roe's getting the job absolutely done on him. Do you so give... Another option. Do you give consideration to a bloke who's probably had less than 10 touches, but he's kept his man Dolas. He's kept the key goal kick on the other side, Dolas. Does Luke Rowe a contender for the meet oh, I believe so. When you, uh, I mean, you've got a prolific marker in, in Jackson Calder. Generally, generally kicks between three and six a game. He's goalless. And now Mornington are forced to look for other options. They're well tagged at the moment, Mornington Tools. And uh, it's, it's a credit to some of them. Nathan Gillis has done it. We can get a camera on Nathan Gillis, number eight out there. If we can get a camera on him, you'll see that he's got the tape around the uh, the left hamstring. When you uh, when you were off off air, Vossi, uh, going to visit the little girls' room, uh, I heard an exchange between uh, the trainer and Nath Gillis. Nath Gillis just having an issue with that leg extension when he kicks the ball. Uh, he's okay running, so I, I don't think I don't think he'll be off. Very long. I think it'll be, it'll be more so, uh, you know, just, just getting a little bit of attention during that part. Now, let's look at the bench. Let's see what he's there. Ryan Dillis is on the bench. Nathan Dillis is on the bench. Jake Haskett on the bench. 
It's funny, I thought Seji was going to be starting off, but it looks like he's going to be starting on. I'm trying to find him out there. He's not going to the forward line, which is bizarre. Crowd just dispersing. I wonder if he's actually not out there. I wonder if he's actually in the rooms at the moment. No, there he is, walking. He's going to the forward line. So okay. Sedgwick, he's going to start in the forward line. So, John, who did you go to at three-quarter time? Uh, Goosey's team. Uh, and what did Goosey have to say? Uh, Goosey and Calder were uh, having a chat before the uh, group chat away from the team. This is, he's pretty much said, this is what play, what, <laughs> start again. This is what you play football for, these sort of games. Uh, where the game was won was between the arcs. Toddy, and it wants Toddy to dig deep and have a big quarter. Let's get on the outside, let's get the goals and make their backs defend. Alright, so we're just about to start the last quarter. It's Somerville up by 26 points. Two late goals to them. In fact, probably three late goals to them in that quarter. Got them a really good lead. Mornington have to hit the scoreboard early in this last quarter if there's going to be any chance. Roberts gets the ball down for Somerville. A defensive hand pass ends up with, um, that was Burton, who goes towards half forward, leading out and kicking the ball off the ground and picking the ball up with a, a hand pass. Good tackle there by Speedy. Umpire letting play go on. Now the ball comes over the top of Mornington with the opportunity. North, he's playing in defence again. They've got to get him forward. Yeah, I, I agree. Short pass. Yes, mate. Towards, oh. <laughs> and he's set a wing. Picked up there for Mornington. Now they can go over the top. Oh, geez, easy mark there. Just dropped by Dinger. Yeah, he, he, uh, he quite under it, pressure. He had it spent before he got rid of it. There before he had it there. Did Bryce Dinger? Goldcast up by eight points. They're in the last quarter, and GWS are up by four goals. Oh, screw! I'm just looking for GWS up by four goals, John. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three oh, there goals. You go. Three goals as John Boy just. Uh, course John Boy going for the Dons. No one cares about the Dons. No, nah, definitely not. Ball goes out of bounds. Half forward for Mornington Vossi, other side of the ground. The crowd getting up and about. They can sniff a victory here for Somerville. Mornington disagree though. They just hold firm for five or six minutes here. Somerville can get a goal in Margin's going to blow out even further. Is an opportunity for Burton. He runs through the centre. He goes with two bounces. He then loses control of the ball. It's picked up there by Sutton. A hand pass to Fermanis. He can put the icing on a very sweet cake if he can kick this. He misses. Bench not happy. Yeah, the uh, four-letter word that sounds like fork. <laughs> <laughs> or something a crow says. Ah. Oh, the old Graham Kennedy crow, crow call. Yeah. Ball goes out of bounds, far side of the ground. 27 minutes, uh, 27 points is the margin. We're two minutes into the last quarter. You said icing on the cake. Would have you called it? Well, I reckon if it had kicked that, they're five goals plus clear with two minutes gone in the last quarter. And honestly, I don't, I can't see Mornington coming back if they, if they kick the first goal there, Somerville. Oh, yeah, I think you might be right, Vossi. Uh, Nate Gillis just gave me a little... We look there. I don't think he'll be. I don't think he'll be coming back on. It's, there's been a great defensive mark taken by Mornington. Quick to play on, finding his teammate there. Long kink out of defensive. For uh, sorry, defensive zone. Quick to play on. Far wing position. Looking for Calder. Pack flies. Ball comes down. Calder wrestling. Yeah. Only to be met by Mornington. Great mark taken there by North. So north it is, he goes on and he goes towards Goosey at centre half forward, but he's outmarked by McKenzie. He's been really good, Kane he's McKenzie. He's been exceptional, Kane McKenzie. The bench asking for them to come this side of the ground. He might just be the recipient of that meat tray yet. He's run off half banks, been amazing. Mornington have got to take a risk. I know they haven't got the ball right now, but they've got to take risks. They've got to get into the corridor. They're just, they've been forced out wide and they're, just, they're not doing anything about it. They're just... Stop, start. They've got to take risks if they're going to get back into this game. Four minutes into the last quarter. Still the margin is 27 points in favour of Summerville. They kicked the point. Mornington haven't scored in this last quarter. Well done, Paul Fermanis there. Just uh, had two opponents on him. Bossy was able to manipulate the ball out of the contest until Luke Burton was able to come and assist. Ball resulted in 
a ball up, umpire to ball it up. Roberts flies, winning that. Ball picked up for Somerville. Picked up by Marshall. He's been pretty good as well, actually. Yeah, he's been good, Marshall. As the kick goes towards the forward pocket, but the ball goes over for a boundary throw. And if you're a Mornington supporter, it's too far out from their goal at the moment. They've got no one inside their attacking 50 at the moment. And no, rightfully so as well, Vossi. When Somerville in possession of the ball, Mornington just building a bit of a defensive wall at the moment. Little Pooch just wanting some attention from his owner. And he's yeah, also... Got the, got the Somerville rug on. It's got the rug on of Paddy Nagel, actually. It's got the number nine. What do you reckon the chances are of that being his parents and his own dog, Vossi? Well... Great you, defensive you, mark you there never, taken by Kane from you, Mornington. You never know. Short pass and the mark has been taken by Speedy, who goes in short. He's got Smart at half back. They're trying to switch, but they're just getting forced out wide. Some of them just aren't in the corridor, and they're just making them kick oh, out wide. Oh, poor kick there. Long Chopped kick off by, by Marshall, Marshall towards the forward pocket, going back and taking the mark. Is that, is that for Manus with the ball? Yeah, it is. Definitely white boots. Tell you what he's, I tell you what, he's, he's built like a brick, isn't he? He's, he's, a, he's a strong man. Absolutely. Imagine him running a chewer to about 40 kilometres an hour, Vossi. The and even make you poo your pants. The man I used to call the human brick was Ash Eames from uh, YCW, who's retired a couple of years ago. But he's a solid boy for Manus. He's had a good game, but he misses that one. He's had two chances in this last quarter. Oh, let off the hook there, Mornington. 9-11-65, Somerville Mornington, 4-13-37. We've played six minutes in the last quarter. We're live here thanks to TV Magic. And, of course, we've got that magnificent meat tray to give we out. We do. Need to start thinking about that heavily. Looks like it'll be a Somerville player that'll be getting it, but who? It's a long kick comes out. Calder tried to get into the contest there, but it's kicked off the ground. Mornington just got to try and get the ball going forward, but Somerville just at every contest. They're just cutting Mornington off at the pass. Now, quick kick towards the attacking 50. It's picked up there for Mornington. I think that was by Gawker. He goes out towards half back. The mark has been taken there for Mornington. Defensive 50. Short pass. Mark taken. And they, they're just defensive hand pass. They're just, it's four hand passes and they've gone no distance. And it's just, it's just not smart football as far as I'm concerned. Gonna, like I said, get out there, take a risk, get the ball moving, don't stop start. You could probably say some of will have forced them into the way they're playing, but in saying that, it's just doesn't. It's not a good look for no, a side that's not. four wins out of five so far. Mornington's free, uh, yeah, Mornington's free kick, holding the ball. High kick towards centre half forward. Oh, that's hands in the back. Right well in front of the umpire. umpire. Right in front of the umpire. The some of bench wanted it, and they got it. Because Lachlan it was there. Dalziel was the player who pushed his opponent in the back. When you do it, make sure the umpire doesn't see it. And the umpire was right there. Mackenzie, a hand pass over the top towards Haskett. Jake, it was, gets it over towards his teammate there in Nagel, who goes in short. And the mark is taken there on the centre wing. They're doing this comfortably at the moment, Somerville. They're not morning to not making them question themselves right now. They're just getting more of the ball. They're chipping around. They're doing oh, what they want to do at the feet. moment. There's a kick towards half forward. Dillis might have pushed his opponent in the back not to be. That was Ryan. Now a chance for Mornington to clear through Gorka. He goes out towards half back. They can run onto the ball here if they can get the ball going through. They do get the ball over the top, but it's not going to end up staying in play. It's going to go over for a boundary throw in. Eight minutes in the last quarter. Somerville by 28 points. Have you got some scores around the ground for us? Thanks to Solar Heart, Craig o. Just yeah, before we the go uh, there, division. Craig o, um, Sedgwick just off the ground again. Sorry, uh, short pass. Just give you the Division 1 scores. Frankston. Uh, YCW, 10-3-63, uh, Dramana, 7 345 Edie Aspendale and Mount Eliza. Mount Eliza, five points in front, 10-19-79. Uh, Edie Asp, 11-8-74. Uh, Red Hill, 9-7-61. Pines, 8-4-52. Uh, and Bond Beach, two points up on Sorrento, 7-12-54. Sorrento, 7-10-52. And uh, Rosebud, 7-14-56. Frankston Bombers, 3-14-32. This will be Sorrento's third day, home, third close game for the year. So they're in the contest. Well, they're in the contest. They're only two points down, but they lost last week. No, I mean like. Pines. So I mean, as a, as a football side in general, not not particularly this game. 
but I thought they were, uh, well, I suppose the, the football community thought they were a little bit further back than what they were. But they're taking, goes on the down the line and taking on the top of the table in Bomb Beach and to be going with them, it's not a bad effort. As we know and mentioned on the Tope Bun Football Show this morning, it's, uh, it's no easy drive going down to Shark Park down in Sorrento. Fossey? It certainly isn't. It's one of those trips you don't look forward to. Probably Red Hill's another trip that you don't really look, look forward to throughout the year, especially if you do it in the middle of winter. Quick kick forward there for Summerwood towards attacking 50. Wybrow lost lost uh, his footing. Ball comes back towards the Marshall. player there in Marshall. It was. They will get the ball out. Here is an opportunity. Haskett on the right foot goes with the kick towards the pocket. He saw a leading player. He probably was in his rights to go a little bit further and maybe have a shot at goal there, Lockie Haskett. He went for Bravo, but the ball's in the forward pocket and over for a boundary throw-in. Yeah, not the option I would have gone for, Vossi. Bravo coming out like a freight chain. Looked like he... Uh, Looked like he had the ball on a string, but uh, well done there to his opponent. We'll get some AFL updates, and we'll get a Franks and Dolphins update as well, thanks to Craig Owen, just a sec. Getting a little bit dark here, Michael, as we might be getting some weather coming. Hopefully. St Kilda look like they're going to win. They're 8 15, 63 Gold Coast, 7 11, 53. That's not good for my tips. GWS 12, 7 79, Essendon 10, 7 67. And maybe a Franks and Dolphins update. What do we got here? Oh, Dolphins. Oh, that's uh, it's, uh, a pants pulling down day today. Williamstown up by 84 points. 16 12 108. Dolphins 3 6 24. 11 minutes played in the last quarter. Some of them haven't scored a goal, but they haven't had to because Mornington haven't been able to get the ball inside their attacking 50 in this last quarter. They're doing this comfortably at the moment, the boys from Somerville. There is some rain, Vossi, but it uh, looks like it might be missing us for a little while yet. It is coming, though. 11 minutes played in this last term. 9-11-65, Mornington 4-13-37. And that's on the raw... Oh, oh, haven't done that all since round one. Ray White, Frankston. Ray White of Frankston scoreboard. Thank you. Bit of a tussle over there going on. They've just got the ball locked in over there and they're, they're just keeping it there. And we've crossed 12 minutes. We're about to cross 12 minutes in the last quarter. So basically half the quarter gone. They still lead by five goals. I'm prepared to say it right now. They're home. They won't mm. lose. I think you might be right. Ball thrown back into play. Sedgwick's still on the bench. He probably won't be returning. Marshall gets a hand pass towards the goal square. Can they get a goal not to be? Tried oh. to kick it off the ground there. It was the player there for Somerville in Moroni. The kick comes out towards half back. Calder's got it. Now, can, what they, can they do? Can they just maybe get a goal? They've got no one to go to. Ash has got it, but they've got no one to go to if, the, if he picked up the ball, which he went out of play. But no one inside attacking 50. No, no one at all. Mornington were pushing there, heavily met by, obviously, some of all's defence, Fossey. Luckily for Mornington, the ball going out of bounds to be thrown back in. Now there's some players north coming forward. Great tap out there by Somerville, gaining about 30 metres. Still Somerville. Far side of the ground, half forward for them. Still Somerville, ball comes out, long kick, looking for Gillis. Goes over his head, was he tunnelled? Lockie Susovic met Gillis heavily. Ball comes out of that contest. Now Mornington with it, looking to go long down the line, looking for Jackson Calder. Nice mark by Calder. Calder quick to play on. All Mornington at the moment. Long kick. Long kick. Only to be met by Somerville. Jay Caskett was the man. He was. Great touch just before a definite goal there by Mornington. Well done, Jakey Haskett. Mornington 4 14 38. Somerville 9 11 65. Ray White, Frankston scoreboard. 
We're live here thanks to TV Magic. Plenty so being said from, uh, from the summer ball. Out towards his team out there, and McKenzie has been really solid all day. Gets it back towards Jay Casket, back towards McKenzie, back towards Jay Casket. They had their own ball on a string there as the kick goes down the line towards centre wing. Ball not marked there by Smart. Marshall picks it up and runs out of room and goes over for a boundary throw in. There is no love lost between these two sides, Vossi. Plenty of emotion played in this football game. Well, Both just teams just wanting to take the chocolates here. Some of all, plenty to prove. They went into this game with a few losses. They should be further up the table than what they are. Talent-wise, they're, they're probably the side beyond Lang Warren at the start of the year we were talking about. Correct, so correct. There's a long kick from Mornington towards Bold who runs out of room. Just looking at Ben Sedgwick there, he hasn't got the... He, he won't come back on, but look at he's just standing there watching the back game. On. But he hasn't got the strapping around the leg. So no, he hasn't. So no, just he's obviously relatively comfortable, but maybe just not taking a risk with him. Bossy, when, uh, again, when you were, when you were uh, met by the little girls' room, there was... Um, there was a uh, he was he was talking to the trainer and he was just getting some soreness through the back so not so much the uh, not so much the hamstrings but just above the buttocks uh, just a little bit of soreness through there so look I mean as you said mate the uh, the fat ladies probably already sung for uh, for Mornington 9 11 65 plays Mornington 4 14 38 they don't want to risk Sedgy so perhaps leave him off kick goes inside Mornington's attacking 50. Picked up there by North. He's going to get a free kick here, Mornington. So they're going to have a shot at goal. The master officiator, Genty, there just running into the contest just to explain what that free kick was for. The ball was going to go to Aaron Speedy. So a lot of goals have been missed from this position today here at Somerville Recreational Reserve. Speedy just being lined up. Well, if Mornington would be any chance, he has to kick this. Couldn't agree with you anymore to state the bleeding obvious. He's missed, I think. Yeah, he has missed. To the near side, three for a behind. Mornington up to 4 15 39. Somerville at 9 11 65. McKenzie didn't take the mark. He asked a bit of Nagel there to try and get the ball. He, uh, he managed to get the ball out. Now Somerville should be able to win out here. McKenzie, a hand pass towards Lockie Haskett. The ball will end up with McKenzie back in defence. And now going short towards Rowe. What a job Luke Rose done today. For a yeah. bloke who probably hasn't had a lot of the ball, but he has kept the Jackson hold up goalless this long, afternoon. Long, long bomb out of defensive 50 for Somerville. But to go back to that man there. North, North. the high kick towards Calder in the pocket. Goes up. Rowe again in front. Calder with the kick off the ground, but it's not going to go too far, and they just rush it through. Mornington forwards here asking the umpire. Well, that's deliberate, surely. And uh, well, he handballed over the line with uh, with plenty of room there. So questionable call there from Somerville. So Mason with the ball and Mornington rightfully asking the question. So Nick Mason, good kick out towards his teammate there. He takes the mark and that is Maroney. Who goes to the high kick back to Mason? He's run 55 metres away from the goal there, Nick Mason. And I t when I say uh, forward of the ball though. Um, and he managed to get an easy kick, so there's no manning up of him there, which is... Oh! Sorry, Vossi. <laughs> Bravo just going up. Got high, high, high. Long kick towards Calder. He picks it up. He goes for the kick in short. He's got to get into that contest there, Jacko. He needed to get... He, he was on his haunches there when he kicked the ball towards his teammate. He thought he'd take the mark. He didn't. The ball came back, and... And he let his opponent get away with the ball and kick it out of the danger zone. Ball beating both players over the line. Luke Burton there, just happy to see the ball go out of bounds. Umpire to throw it in. Wing position, far side of the ground. Almost, yep, yeah, you heard it here. Supporter wanted it in the back. Not so, big Roberts. When you're about seven foot tall and you're young Paganoni, you've got no choice but to go into Roberts's back. Ball beating them over the line again. Umpire to throw it back in. Going up against Paganoni and Roberts.
some of all with the commanding lead here, finding finding Lockie Williams as he marks inside 50 directly in front. He's going to kick this from about 40 out, I reckon, is Paganoni. Uh, sorry, not Paganoni, it's Williams. He's already kicked one today. Can he go back and slot this to be their only multiple goal kicker? And this will definitely seal the deal. Nail in the coffin for Mornington Football Club. As he just waltzes in, steady as you like, and goes bang! Umpire does not even move over the head of Somerville to get around young Lockie Williams there. Multiple goal kicker and seals the deal, Michael Voss. It's all over. Certainly is. We're going, to try and get a, we're going to try and get an interview with Brad Tanovan after the game, the successful coach. Well, he's right next to us, so hopefully that would be absolutely fantastic to get Brad. But um, I've got a feeling after this win, Vossi, he's going to be want to be with the boys. I know he's a huge fan of RPP, so we'll see how that goes. 10-11-71 plays Mornington 4-16-40. We played 20 minutes in this final quarter. That's on the Ray White of Frankston scoreboard. The master officiator in Genty to throw the ball back up for not quite the last time. Roberts flies, wins that clearance again. Somerville booing. I'm not sure who was north. That man there has been very, very good all day. They have not utilised him enough. He bombs the ball long into... Mornington's forward 50 to be met by a stunning, an absolute stunning defensive lineup in uh, in Somerville today, Vossi. Well, Mornington have missed a lot of shots, particularly keeping a, a side that's sitting basically what top three on the ladder. Four goals for the day is a fantastic effort for Somerville, and this will give them great confidence going forward. It's been a test for the Somerville Football Club today. Mornington were always going to come down down the road and flex their muscles. It'll be interesting to hear from Brad Canavan through the week just to see how Nath Gillis, of course, with the training gear back on and uh, and Sedgwick, how they've pulled up and whether they'll be lining up next week, Vossie. You'd think Gillis might be unlikely next week considering he's got the tape around around the hammy. The and crowd if the hammy's sore, then you'd, you're not going to get over it in seven days. The crowd just getting behind Rowe. It was a one-on-one -on -one contest between that man there and Jackson Calder and, and uh, young Rowe. And Rowe winning that one decisively again. Vossi, it has been the Rowe show today. Luke Rowe's been fantastic on Jackson Calder this afternoon. Ding has tackled. The umpire says... Oh, he's given, oh, he did give holding the ball yeah, there. Yeah, he did. Rightfully so, too. He had plenty of opportunity. Just went to run off. Kick out by Burton towards Bravo. Bravo goes forward towards half forward, but it's marked there for Mornington. And they can go with a kick down the line towards Ash. Is a free kick to Mornington. How often have we seen Mornington come down the corridor today, short pass? Yeah, not at all. Very few and far between, that's for sure. There's a kick towards Gorka. He goes in towards the centre of the ground. Mark's taken by Smart. <coughs> See, the Mornington player there in house was leading out, but he was leading down towards the wing, and that's not going to do you any good right now. Ball picked up there by Jay Caskett for Somerville. He goes out towards defensive 50. Finding Bravo. Bravo, Bravo. Been very good today is Bravo. Marking the ball. Kicked a great position. goal right on three-quarter time. He did. Which basically... Set them up for the fourth. Well, yeah, ba it basically lost the game, didn't it? So yeah, it did. There's a kick by Zach Martin, who's kicked the goal towards centre-half forward. Mark taken by Wybrow, who plays on, goes towards centre-half forward, and the mark has been taken there for Somerville, and they will have a shot at goal from about, oh, 35 metres out from goal. I think that's McDonnell, is it? It is. McDonnell, yes. The big number 31. Leg tats. A way to go these days, apparently. If you're not covered in tattoos, you're not cool. Weather looking threatening. As McDonnell is going to kick this from about 40. Mongrel punt across the face through for a minor. 
10, 13, 73, plays Mornington 4, 16, 40. We've played nearly 24 minutes. We've had one goal in this last quarter. Expect it probably to go maybe at, at the most, probably another two minutes, I'd, I'd suspect. North with a great mark again. He's been very good North today. And that's that's just where they're breaking down. Like North gets the ball down the ground. Jackson Spot Cole's on. not anywhere near the contest. So that's on. an easy mark to Zach Martin. Exactly they right. They can play on. Martin gets the ball. He goes with a kick down the line towards centre half forward. Oh. Going up, taking a strong mark Marshall. there is Marshall. Beautiful mark. He fancies himself for here. Although he is looking around, but he reckons he's against the wind here for our viewers and listeners. So it's going to take every breath of him to make the distance here. So Marshall with the ball. Goes to the high kick. It's going to fade away towards the right-hand side and through for A behind. Just pushing it right there, Vossi. Just, as I said, he wanted everything of that kick. Resulted in just pushing it right through for a minor. 10-13-73. Plays Mornington 4 16 40. It's just gone 25 minutes. St Kilda won by nine points in the AFL. Roberts, long bomb forward, looking for Ryan Gillis. Ryan Gillis dropping the mark. Should have taken. Stacks on the pill. Oh, give us that. That's thanks to Solar Heart. Give us the NFL Metalizer score, uh, Craig. Oh, actually. Yeah, it's uh, one point in it. Uh, Metalizer 11 21 87. Oh, Metalizer, uh, another close 13, one. 8, 86. One point the difference late in the last quarter. Wow, we. Wow, we's right. High kick towards the centre of the ground. Jackson Calder goes up. He Roberts almost, goes up too. Almost grabbed a hold of the ball there, but the umpire said, I'm going to ball it up. In the centre of the ground here. Maybe Summerville will just slightly into attack. Summerville up by 33 points. Only a matter of maybe a minute or so to go in this game. As Haskett, Lockie gets the ball over, but uh, he got tackles. He tried to get rid of it now. Short pass down the line towards the Mornington player there in Brown. He picks it up. He goes with a kick towards Calder at, at half forward. And Luke Rowe has done a fantastic job this afternoon, and he beat Calder to that one, and he got the kick away, and the crowd loved it. I absolutely cheered him there. It was right in front of the, uh, right in front of the boys Calder too. wants it long, and he might get this one. No, he's out of the contest again. Oh, they're, they're giving it to they're giving it to Jackson they Calder, are, I tell are, you. Absolutely, but what a, what beautiful play there by Luke Rowe. They just read the ball well. Uh, was met by the man at the back, and who was there? Of course, Rowe to apply the tackle, resulting in a ball up, Vossi. Throw up by the umpire. Calder, a quick snap. That's a goal. That's oh, touched. touched. Haskett saying it was touched. The umpire agrees with him. Oh, that was a late call by the uh, the goal umpire there, but he's in perfect position to see that touch, so you got to give it to him. Short pass by Haskett. Mark taken by Mason. Kick out towards McKenzie. Who gets the ball over towards his teammate there in Marshall. Back to McKenzie. A high kick. It was almost a... It went to kick it a barrel a barrel. There. It was. Definitely a barrel. Kick down towards the centre wing. Picked up. And now a hand pass backwards towards Nagel. Paddy it is. He gets a hand pass over towards his teammate. Now they can go forward. Good for Maybe one last goal there for Somerville. Oh. It's been a very, very sweet cake for them this afternoon. And they're going to enjoy this win tonight. And they're back on level terms on the season as the kick goes out. Empire's given a free kick back yeah, on just play. Think tripping in the contest, Vossi. 28 minutes played in the last quarter. Mornington have not looked like it in this last quarter. They've kicked four behinds in this last quarter. Oh, Calder, Jackson. Probably for the first time, he beats Rowan in a one on one contest. Oh, free kick given for High in that contest. So Ash is the player with the ball. <laughs> Calder, well, wanted, Calder wanted one there. Calder did want one there, and uh, he got the quick little handball out. Went long, but just across the face. Kick out towards halfback. Mark's taken he's, by Luke Rowe. He's Luke, the, meet Trey Rowe. <laughs> he is the uh, success story of today, that's for sure. Oh, as he goes, the big barrel right in front of the crowd. And Wiggy's here, he's having a bit of a chuckle to himself as... as uh, his man did go the big barrel. He just did that for the crowd. You could tell that. 
There's a short pass towards half forward, mark taken by North, but the siren has gone and he won't get the shot because it was after the siren when he took that ball. So some of all the winners this afternoon, 10, 13, 73, they beat Mornington 4, 18, 42. You're listening and watching RPPFM, the voice of Peninsula football. And that you are. We aren't going to be throwing to a break, Craig. Oh, do you have TV oh, and we are. do you have TV? Do you have TV antenna or reception issues? Need to wall mount your TV or want extra TV or data points? Then call TV Magic, Frankston and the Peninsula. Call Clint for a free quote on 0484 395 555. TV Magic, we make all your TV prop. Hello. And welcome back. Uh, we we're uh, just uh, getting ourselves organised here, but um, looks like we're uh, we're all set to go. And uh, final score: uh, 10 13 73 Somerville, Mornington 4 18 42. And uh, short pass might just quickly just check those scores uh, in uh, Division uh, One: Rosebud 7 16 58, Frankston uh, Bombers down front 8 15 63. Uh, Sorrento and Bond Beach. Bond Beach are well in control. 15 12 102. Sorrento 8 10 58. Uh, Frankston YCW 13 4 82. And Dramana 7 3 45. Uh, still at full time. And uh, Mount Eliza won that game at EDASP uh, 11 21 87 to uh, 13 8 86 in the fourth quarter at Red Hill. Pines in front now 11 6 72. Jeez. Red Hill 9 8 62. Looks like Pines are going to get the job done up on the hill too, which is a massive win for the Pines Football Club. Questions to be asked of Red Hill. Uh, Division Craig 2 Oak. scores. Uh, Lang Warren uh, full-time there, 12-15-87, uh, defeating Chelsea 6-5-41. Uh, it says into the third quarter of Devon Meadows. That can't be right, but anyway. 11-9-75, Devon Meadows, Hastings 6-14-50. Uh, Seaford, 23-21, uh, 159 over Rye, 8654. Oh, That's a pasting. Uh, Keringal, 17-7, 109. Crip Point, 10-12, uh, Full-time, uh, our game here, of course, uh, Somerville, 10-13-73. Mornington, 4-18-42. End of the fourth quarter, Pearsdale, 15-10-100. Uh, Tyab, 5-10-40. Yeah, wowee. Wowee, some uh, surprising... Games there, of course, and if you are happening to uh, be watching That's better, bossy. I'll run in front of the crowd so I can get That's right. shit thrown at me. <laughs> I'll just hug you. Yep, okay. Oh, you're a good man, Wig. <laughs> With the winning coach, and he's just giving me a peck on the <laughs> with the winning coach, he's just giving me a peck on the cheek, Brad Canavan, and Wiggy. That uh, was a good solid win by your boys today. Well, we needed it, didn't we, Bossy? Um, it's been a rough start for the year to the year for us. Um, yeah, so we got some good personnel back today, which I think just gave the whole group a lift. Six ins today from seven outs last week, so it's just a bit of a, ro a summy roller coaster at the moment. So this week it was a good up week for us. Um, train well. And Mornington, it was just a really, I mean, obviously, this, you know, where they're sitting on the ladder. Uh, so it's just nice to knock off a really good team. Paul Fermanis was really good for you, especially early. And it's, it's good because he straightens you guys up so much. Yeah, he was good. He just, just kicked Paulie in front of goal, I think, 1-4 or 1-5. So, yeah, look, he's just dynamic, mate. I think the, I think um, he just gives us a huge boost. But Sedgy coming in gives us a bit of a strong man up forward. How is how is he? Because he came off and he never came back on that. Or he came back on for a few minutes in the last quarter. Yeah, no, I just managed, the, managed um, Sedgy and Paulie late. Just, you know, getting a bit old, the boys. They're 32 and 33. So, just some management. Um, Lockie Williams back today was great in the middle. Paddy Nagel back. So... Um, yeah, very pleased, mate. Very pleased. Luke Rose job on Jackson Calder. Brilliant. 
just brilliant. Um, we thought it was a really when Rowie came back to the club, and um, we, I know it sounds strange, and you're looking at different opposition teams. We went. We thought we had a really good matchup for for Calder when we played Mornington, and um, Rowie was oh, he was just enormous, wasn't he? He certainly was, and he'll be getting the meat tray, so cooking up a bit of meat later. He'll yeah. be the recipient of that magnificent Eliza Meats meat tray. Wiggy, thanks very much for your time, and good luck next week. Thanks, Bossy. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Rowie, yeah. He's put a lot into that game today and he's emotionally spent, I, I dare say, out there. And uh, he enjoyed that win. And um, I did mention out there that Luke, Luke Rowe will be getting the meat tray this afternoon, the Eliza Meats meat tray. And what a performance he put up on Jackson Calder this afternoon. Basically, every one-on-one -on -one contest, Rowe was there. He either beat him or nullified him. And I reckon Calder won probably two one-on-one -on -one contests for the day. And it was just a really good display by Somerville. And they're back on an even keel. And uh, do we get a final score from that Edafal game? Yeah, one point, one point. They lost? They lost by a point. Oh, hard to take. But a lot better performance, nevertheless. Yeah, absolutely. They're uh, not too busy at the store when the Coast Hunt football show was here. They're uh, they definitely not out. Uh, gallant effort today by, uh, by the uh, Edafal Aspendale Football Club. But as, as mentioned, when you were with Brad Canavan, he thought he did an exceptional job on, uh, on, on Jackson Calder. And he is our man of the match, uh, thanks to Eliza Meats, of course. Kevin takes Eliza home the meat tray. Takes home the meat tray. Uh, that's a wrap from us, Mossy, I reckon. Where are we next week? Uh, Red Hill. Red Hill. Okay. We'll speak to you next week live from Red Hill. Exceptional, exceptional time here. Always is Craig O to uh, to come down to uh, to Somerville. Uh, thanks to Mornington uh, for you know, for putting on a fantastic show as well. As well, thanks to uh, to Pete Sasevich, to yourself, Craig O, and of course the Mayor of Mornington, Michael Boss, uh, to John Boy. Thanks uh, one of our producers, and of course Boss Man on the camera. Uh, but that is a wrap from us at uh, Somerville Recreational Reserve, where uh, where. Somerville victors 10 13 73 played Mornington 4 18 42. You have been listening and watching.